Right. Right I'm now, we, it's begun. I. Real life. Begun? Begun? Our stream begun? It have begun. Yeah. Yes. That's begun to good. pee. That's pretty good. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Now. Oh, wait. I should probably wait until there's people who are actually here to hear this instead of it. I was going to tell you guys, too. Maybe I'll just say it twice. Here, co here comes the first time. This okay. is going to be a short fab. Shorter <gasps> than what? many of the fabs. Because we've got many things that have unfortunately converged to get in our way. Yeah, this will be a historically short fap. This will be the shortest. This will be the fap that you tell your kids about was very short. Oh, no. I, 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 you tell your children. A... I remember the short fap of 2022. Right, right before well, that the was anniversary. Fun, but I think it's time to start wrapping up. Yeah, I mean, the Ides of July. I wasn't kidding when I said it was short. That's, that's it. We've done it. Uh, all right. Thunder, pretty good. See you later, yeah, goodbye! Uh, yeah, 8 out of 10, uh, something. I think some people being really nice. Been the Chris hey, Dutton like... review of Love and Thunder. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that was yeah, way too long for his review. It. There was good <laughs> acting, and I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. It's gonna be great. I could See, the short review again. doesn't make me suspect, it's the odd positivity suddenly. That's <laughs> making me concerned. What's, what's going on now? Yeah, wait, what, why? Is it, uh, you bet. I have seen lots of positivity for this film, though. Have you, Shad, on your travels on the internet? You know, no, actually. Not as much as I expected. There is, of course, positivity, but I was, I'd be a bit surprised there's been a bit more salient criticism of the film because yeah, I've seen it's that. atrocious. I've, I've also seen... Like um With every film like this that gets made, the more we get the whole... Um, guys, why are you taking it so seriously? It's literally people with magical powers flying around. What the fuck? And then, like, a film oh. comes out that's, like, incredibly serious regarding stuff like that. Like, trying to make deeper points, and then they're like, why are you taking it so seriously? Yeah. You know, like it's this film, when that's it talks about cancer. Or We're typically not the ones who devalue our own crafts like that, but... Yeah. Eh. Second worst box office drop in the franchise? I've... Wait, what was the first one, then? Is Second strange? worst box office drop in the franchise? I haven't actually drop checked the box office. in a franchise? What would what would the other one be? Would it be? I think Doctor Strange had like a seventy something drop off. I remember that being a big I drop off. It. Yeah, but I thought people were Did trying really? to uh, see whether or not this would get a bigger one. Um, Let how me we take a look. It drops sixty eight percent in weekend two. Slides to forty six million second weekend at box office. Forty six million. Well, more million dollar dues. It's made seven hundred million dollars so far. So, no, so it's already like in two weeks. It's nearly beaten Ragnarok. It says here that <laughs> Thor. This is from Collider, so who knows? Uh, but it says Thor: Love and Thunder has franchise worst box office fall in second weekend. Adds forty six million. Hmm. So okay. It says, by comparison, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness fell by 67%, oh, and Black well, Widow dropped 68%. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. So this is a 1% higher drop-off than Multiverse of Madness. Well, um... It's, it's all not good, right? Like, <laughs> is it, is it evidence of their friend. lack of staying power, do you think? Well, uh, well, I mean, I think generally... The perception is that a film that has a lower drop uh, is a film that probably got better word of mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Top Gun go Maverick scared. stayed strong for ages after it came yeah, out. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Like $2 billion, it's kind of unreal, so. to be honest with you. I um, can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I'm uh, sure they can't. I, I'm sure they fucking love it. Paramount right now, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, because Tom Cruise pushed to have that released theatrically. If they were going to release it on Paramount Plus, and I'm sure I'm very glad. Oh, that they wow. him. Mm. Good job. <laughs> Their most successful film of all time. See, that's the kind of thing where it'd just be oh, like, really? okay. Tom, what other what what other things do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Xenu. <laughs> oh no! Well, he would uh, <laughs> he'd be like that dark universe. Let's get that back going. They're like, ah, yo, what if it what if it happens? Yeah, what if that works out as well? You know, you don't know. <laughs> universe. Yeah, I honestly, I would watch it. I, I uh, you know, if Tom Cruise comes out something new, I'm gonna go see it. I'm putting together a team. <laughs> Frankenstein and Dracula. And ironically, like, what? I really hope. I hope it comes back. Those two. It, movies it sounded funny as hell as an idea. 
<laughs> Dude, I would love an expanded horror universe thing. It could be really fun, but like, it's never hmm. gonna happen. Well, I mean, it's they're gonna keep trying. Upgrade. No, they're not. They they're gonna keep. One well, no, they're, they're gonna they're gonna keep trying <laughs> to make expand. So what two. what it would take is like two expanded un like two um sorry not two expanded universes, two like really successful horror franchises that are vaguely compatible, and then a studio is immediately if they're at least if they're both owned by the same studio, they're immediately gonna go expanded universe. Could we have an MCU? Ooh. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, yeah, because the dark universe has been tried technically twice, right? I think so, uh, because Dracula there was Untold. The Mummy and there was Dracula and, yeah. Untold, right? What was but there the more than two? The... I think that's it. But the Mummy was it, much okay. more of a real attempt than, uh, than Dracula Hey, I, I wouldn't go that far. Dracula I mean, Dracula Untold, Untold totally ends real. with the Nick Fury scene. Yeah, but, like, they even <laughs> had a logo for the Dark Universe <laughs> and they put it in their first movie because they were that confident. <laughs> then, then it just didn't work out, you know? Just, Dracula and Toll, uh, full recommendation over here, but make sure you're with friends, obviously. <laughs> I'm telling you, sometimes your dark universes just don't work out. I would be curious how oh. many people in chat right now have no idea that EFAP movies Dracula Untold exists. There's probably oh many God. of them that are like, what? Probably yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, it was a while ago, but you guys should go to EFAP movies where we covered Dracula Untold. It was one of our early oh. EFAPs. Oh, it's a very do fun that? Movie. I didn't even know this. This is news yeah. to me. Uh, it's what? a very fun I think movie. It was Wolf's idea, right? Because he knew something about that so, film yeah. that me and Rags did not, and when we saw it, we fucking lost our shit. It was great. It was amazing. It's it like, was everything yeah. we could have hoped for and more. It was magical. <laughs> Go then, watch it. It, it is a, it is yeah, a the, wonderful film. The Dick Fury of that film is Charles' dad, so we, we were robbed. It's true. We were robbed. Yes, this this is the future we could have had. We could have had Charles' dance, Nick Fury, in the monster verse. Instead, we got the MCU. Yeah, well, there you go. The and also, I guess the DCEU just sort of hobbling along. <laughs> <laughs> Does that e how long before it doesn't even count? When the movies just don't even, like, acknowledge each other's existences and just keep fucking everything around? I guess you could say the MCU's doing that right now, too, so... It seems yeah, like the whole point with DC now is they want them to acknowledge each other more, except for the Batman, I guess, that's <laughs> often little world yeah. if they said the batman, batman joker and the suicide squad are all the same universe we'd just be like yeah nah <laughs> nah <laughs> the joker and the suicide squad are in the same universe hell yeah that's Fuck funny it. Think about watched, what the joker became i watched and responded to a theory video about that once that oh, i argued yeah. literally that it was really fun when you get deep into theory tube you get all kinds of uh, ideas out there well, did you know that actually the the but despite the fact that both of those movies show the assassination of the Waynes, uh, and they're clearly different scenes with different actors and different events, it's actually a subtle nod that one narrator. is a dream interpretation. Yeah, one is a dream mm -hmm. interpretation of the actual events, and you can tell that actually they're supposed to be a, the same portrayal because wow. they both in the background feature a poster for the movie Excalibur. There you go. That's it. <laughs> nice. You gotta puke. Does this person have 10 billion subscribers? Because I'd have to imagine so. Oh, they Screen Crush. Oh, so um, yes, then. Yeah, well, I don't know how many do they have? I don't do they know. have many? We've Tell covered that before. We covered them relatively recently, I think. I, I mean, I remember um, I remember when I, like, when I first found them, they got, like, very unreliable views. And they didn't have many subscribers. And mm -hmm. I was like, it's good that this doesn't always succeed, this model. And now they're doing incredibly well. I think they were, was this screen crush that said like Wanda is a good goodman. We yes, that, video, that was them. Yeah, more billion subscribers. Yeah, pretty much. Oof. Well, you know, um, they they they, they gotta have a banger at some point, right? Because they just put up. The, they do the thing where like when Endgame was coming out, it would be like Thanos with his gauntlet, and be like, "What does it mean?" And then you'll have a picture of Wolverine there. It's like, why? <laughs> I think that's up next. You're thinking of really. That's all of them, the isn't easiest. it? The but easiest that, thumbnail to parody. Up next would be the ones who who went furthest with that. <laughs> they would have like what you missed in the end game trailer and they'd photoshopped Wolverine into one of the badly photoshopped Wolverine into one of the stills from the trailer and drawn a circle around him. It's like, damn, how'd I miss that? I would find it very amusing. Though so, uh And then we, they threaten then they threaten to sue me. We shouldn't dilly daddle because we gotta talk about Thor. We haven't no. yet finished. I Talking about the wonders. We don't want to have a 68% drop off in um, attention. Exactly. We got to hurry before nobody even remembers this film happened. Yeah.
<laughs> Wait, who are you remember talking about? Thor, Love, and Thunder? I, I'm already if I remember, remembering it. Last time we were talking about Thor, he was naked. Yes. We were talking about, Ooh, I think yeah. the last thing we talked about was the Loki tattoo, right? Or it was, it was one of the things. Yes. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, and so, we can we can just kick on. Unless there was anything else you guys wanted to talk about before we, we start talking about that God of Thunder. I mean, I'd rather talk about a lot of things except this, but uh, let's just... Wow! Just I guess. Oh, well, and because people are here, yeah, um, here. I gotta go, I've been double booked for streaming, and uh, Rags cannot hang around for longer than, was it two hours? I think? can hang around for about, just about, basically two hours, so. So, we're gonna try and go for three today, and however much we get done is however much gets done. I'm hoping we can actually complete the film by then, so... Mm -hmm. There is 52 minutes of film left to talk about. Um, don't panic. And the ETAP exchange rate is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will do our best. Short man bad. That's as long as most open bars. Okay? Like, nearly all of them. I am it's As long outraged. as open bar. That's a short show. It's not a short... Short... Well, yeah, it or, it's like as, or it's as long as Smiling Friends. <laughs> smiling Friends is usually 10 minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? We're very, very oh, lang. Thing. Short man complaints. Look at them. Look at them all. What's wrong with being short? Do we hate short kings now? Is that it? Yeah. Maybe. Wow. That's what we always do. I mean, I, thought... I streamed yesterday, so... I'm oh, good. Oh, I streamed. Matt always talking about his streams. Every yeah. chance he gets. Oh, fraud. I do a fraud. Well, you're always like, oh, oh. can you... Uh, uh, I got nothing, actually. Just got Correct. <laughs> The chat is fairly definitive in their answer. You're <laughs> pathetic. They hate short people. I, I, gosh. Oh I my god. Anybody wow. who's Are you under short? six foot, you know, you're in trouble. Or people Peter Dinklage. <laughs> I'm under six foot, but I'm a dog, so it's okay. Oh, good. Yeah, that's fine. All right, then. Are you tall for a dog, though? Yeah. Yeah, probably. You just, I, I like that you, I like that... The, that answer really sounded like you were coming up with it as you said it. No, I've I've known for a long time now that that's the truth. So did that one. Except I think you might time. just have a hearing problem because the only the I, only thing, I, I think that's probably what it is. I think you have a hearing issue. Mahler, what did you how just say to me? What are you snorting over there? Hmm. <laughs> what are you snorting? Oh. Uh... Are you snorting liquid crack? Is that how Probably. you take crack? You snort it? I don't crack know drugs. Crack Looks like blood. Well, I watched Breaking Bad, so I, I know I think it's drugs. just a red straw. Um, yeah. Let's just... You know what? It's it's on the interpretation of the viewer. They can, can kind of think about it. And what would it be? Muller, are you against termination of pregnancy? So, let's talk about Thor. Uh, let's just yes. get right in, <laughs> you know? First, uh, first subject. We'll, we'll jump in. Uh, is is I got because I've still got notes about the incredible comedy, and I was gonna say you know we, we were talking a lot about how you don't even know what if this if these things are jokes sometimes because of how weird things are. Um, mm -hmm. There's there's ones yeah, that you yeah. do recognize and you're just like, huh, huh, because it's like we're gonna go like we're gonna help Thor on my signal, and then and then uh, Korg the funny character is like, what's the signal? And she's like, it'll be go, and he goes ooh, and then like people laugh at that. And I'm sort of like, oh. Yeah, but that's hilarious, Mahler. And that's not even the payoff of the joke. The payoff of the joke is that when they go to help him, they all run, and then he, and then Korg, the funny character, says, but you didn't say go. Yeah, I think that was the payoff. Why did he, uh, mm. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> the joke isn't even funny, but you, you're laughing when the joke hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> like, what, what's happening? It's, uh... That's, it's, it's like the clapping seal effect. They want to laugh, and so any kind of vague thing that might be humorous. They're like, yeah. Well, like, when when <laughs> Dave says she has cancer. I think it's a good way to tell if if someone actually finds you funny or not. Like, if they laugh at all your jokes, you should tell, uh, like, a joke. Well, tell half a joke, but inflect so that it's the end of the joke, and then see if they're listening to you, or they just laugh. And then you're like, why are you laughing? Uh, and they're yeah. like, huh? <laughs> like, I, th mm -hmm. I thought it was... Oh, no. <laughs> like, as they realize, sort of thing. That's how you. That's how you tell your true friends, and then you say, "I am not friends with you now because you are laughing at things I didn't even do that are funny." You take off your helmet. I am no friend, and then stabs oh. you. 
You take off I your do. helmet and then stabs you. Yeah. Stab you with I just I enjoyed that. That wasn't I, that wasn't mockery. That was appreciation. More like cockery. <laughs> <laughs> so um, fuck. He's uh, he's. Oh, no, you're here for three hours. <laughs> Shut up. He's doing a plead with Zeus, and he's like, he's taking children. And Zeus is like, yeah, it's whatever. Every god has to take care of their own people, no more, no less. As guardian problems, or as guardian problems. Um, I can't remember exactly which things we talked about from this scene in the end of the last stream, so I'm just going to end up repeating some stuff if we have or haven't. But it does seem a little weird when Gore's plan is to kill all of the gods, that this doesn't regard you. He's yeah. describing this problem as being like, eh, whatever. I guess specifically he's just talking about kidnapped children and not his issue. But um, I've uh, I've seen people say, like, it's it's self-contained. Uh, the idea is that all of these gods are on quarantine in this city, so no wonder we haven't seen them before. And it's like, really? Quarantine? What the they fuck? Just, <laughs> you they've just been up? here this whole time. Like, Aren't they annoyed that they have to stay in this one place for- Because if you remember, Zeus is like, you can't leave because Gore could find out where we are from you guys. And it's like, wait, so nobody out there knows about this place other than Thor did, and now he's here, so that's good because you yeah. can just keep him here, I guess. And like, are all the gods comfy with just being here forever? I guess they have lots of things going on in sure Omnipotent City. Well, apparently Valkyrie knew about it as well because they did like the whole oh, job. Shit, yeah. Oh, Omnipotent <laughs> City! <laughs> Yeah, I Valkyrie guess a lot of things. Yeah, she was like just a, a Valkyrie part of the, and so you'd assume there's a lot more other people of same similar rank that would know about this city. Yeah, there's like a whole army yeah. of them, and th that's the thing. If someone said is Valkyrie a god, quote unquote, in this universe, I'd be like, I, I don't think so. But I mean, she's strong. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I don't know how anything works. But there's also um, he's like not worried about Gore because he said he'd have to get the key, and he doesn't have it when. Do you know where Heimdall's sword is? Does anyone? Do you know where? I mean, plus, who knows what other things can open it? I That's guess. true. Yeah, I like guess, I you mean, can tell. Like that'll come into play later in the plot. Things that can just get you there. But well, like wh when did uh, Valkyrie's stupid Pegasus thing oh, first open up the Bifrost? Because whoever did that fucked this movie over a little bit in terms of them being like, "Wow, yeah, yeah. we have to account for the horse now uh, for the Bifrost." It's getting a little less special when <laughs> it's like, "Oh yes, your <laughs> horse can open it." The horses only appeared in Endgame in this movie, right? And the horse didn't Endgame, have the Bifrost in Endgame. Yeah, I'm in Endgame, to remember. they just came through the... Yeah, they the, just came through the, a strange portal. portal. The strange well, in, portal, yeah. In that case, why did they give a horse the Bifrost? I don't know. That's a good I question, even, I, I wonder if they even consider that being a Bifrost and not just her being teleported. Yeah, maybe, maybe they thought that Endgame had done that, but they were wrong. So, no, no, no. <laughs> Is it because Jane needed to fight in the last battle? Because didn't she ride on the horse to get yeah, there? Yeah, that's how she uh, got it. Yes. Saving... So, it might be that, be then. Well, that's still ridiculous. <laughs> like, that's just, yeah. I don't know. Because Stormbreaker, yeah. <laughs> I think we all accept Stormbreaker having it, because it's like this super-duper ultimate weapon made in the heart of a dying star. You're like, all right, fine, mm -hmm. you get one. Horse. But then it's just like horse. You're like, where did the horse even come from? Horse. Like horse. Hey, horse's wings. <laughs> I can. You can almost see how it happened. They're they're at the final battle. They're like, oh wait, wait, we need Jane to come in and then save him. Oh, but then some smart person says, well, hang on, how is she gonna get there? Because the Bifrost is already there. We need we need some way to make her get there. And it's like, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What if? What if? A horse. I hate horse. that show. What if a, I, I think we would have been more accepting of Mjolnir being able to. Well, actually, then again, no, maybe not, because then we'd be like, "What the fuck was that?" In all the other movies. Yes. Oh god, when you just because that's that's a form of writing yourself into a corner, I suppose. Where it's just like, yeah, maybe Jane just doesn't fucking go there. How about that? But there's, there's an no, easier. Exactly. There's, there's an easier and obvious know. solution. They're rebuilding Asgard. Like movie. So why don't they? Why don't they have a thing that they're rebuilding the Bifrost yeah, as part of their community that they had there? They, they don't need to rely on Thor to teleport to other places, and they have a Bifrost rebuilt, and she uses that. That would solve it. Well, this is the thing. What I'm implying is, like, the second you try and tweak anything, you're like, oh, let's just scrap the script. Do I have to keep the script, please? Just I don't want to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't make me keep it. Um, but yeah, uh, it was. it's just Zeus saying that that makes Thor like, wow, my hero. You, you are not what I thought. It's like, oh, well, what Zeus just said sounded like their normal way of doing things. Like, he says it as though it's it's something everyone knows. 
Gods take yeah. care of their own people. Like he doesn't even say it like it's a shock or a mean thing. He's just like that's just how it works. And Thor is like, wow. It's like, well, well how yeah, come they... I was not <laughs> notified of this policy? Did Odin never tell you about this? this Earth shenanigans. Because you know, if you've got um, the Asgardians protecting all these different realms as part of their kingdom, in a sense, did Odin never mention like, yeah, by the way, Zeus doesn't actually do anything for any realms. Right. Who were Zeus's people? Well, you'd think it'd be the Greeks, right? Yeah. Does he know how Horses. they're doing right now? The Greeks? <laughs> is he, is he, <laughs> does he visit no. Greece every once in a while? Like, yeah. I, if you guys have kidnappings, no, I'll help you out. But... So, yeah, I don't know. It, it all feels like... It's clear clear in the subtext more that the Greeks kind of rose up Stargate style against their god oppressors and uh... Zeus just yeeted away into hiding for thousands of years until now. Doing nothing. Well, I saw um. But oh no, orgies. Sorry, or he was having orgies. I saw a top comment nice. asking why didn't we talk about when they mentioned um, human sacrifices, and I'm pretty sure we did. We said that that don't make no sense, because if all these gods are getting human souls sacrificed to them, like surely some of them there are sitting there like nobody even believes in me. I'm just uh, you know, because there's like thousands of gods there. Maybe there's like one guy, but. It just feels weird. It's like there's just maybe a shit more, shit ton more god sacrifices happening if all of you guys are like in competition for it. Yeah, and you and guys surely... should probably care more about Earth, you know? Yeah, you'd think. Or, or there's loads of humans. Whole, it's the whole, it's the whole places. universe's worth of gods, I assume. So. Yeah. I mean, Earth has had thousands and thousands of gods, and it's you know, it's it's history and civilization, and now you have to probably are going to end up doing that for untold amounts of planets across the. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be crowded in that in that place, especially if they just sit around. They're not doing anything. How can they do anything from their golden city place, or, or omni omnipotent omnipotent city? What's it called? Omnipotent, omnipotent city. city. It's Omni the... oh, it's just omnipotent yeah. city. Oh, I thought it yeah. was some sort of attempt at a portmanteau. That no, no. it's just omnipotent city. Okay. Is it? Sorry, is it omnipotent or omnipotence? Hence. Well, those are, they're just, they're two different words. You, if you are omnipotent, you have omnipotence. No, Rags, I'm asking you the name of the place. Is it omnipotent city yeah. or omnipotence city? Oh. Or omniscient city? I think, no. well, it's, it's the potent one, but I'm wondering which of the potents. It's the second one you said. I think okay. it's omnipotent. I well, think fair it's enough. T. Uh, I think. So, things get a little bit weirder. Uh, Zeus... Walks up to, to Thor and he's like, there are three points I wish to tell you. One, I am scared. Gore could kill all of us. And it's like, oh. Oh, so maybe uh, stop him? Because yeah, oh, like, like yeah. this is, this is what, kind of what I mean. Like, when you fucking introduce a character and you give me, like, his baseline trait, I do not give a fuck about Gore. You're like, okay. And then it's like, also, mm -hmm. I'm terrified of him. He could kill me. Like, we do care then. All right. Why aren't you killing him? No idea. I guess he's that afraid of him that, that if 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 all the gods here genuinely because he has to announce to them that don't worry, he's not gonna kill all of us. Like mm -hmm. maybe this is the one thing you guys should work together on. I don't know. It's, yeah, maybe Thor could say, No, 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 just just give me like five of your gods. Like we almost beat him with like two people. Just yeah. give me a little bit of backup. We we got this, it's no problem. J well he just asked for the bolt. Well, in the end, which, yeah. which, to be honest with you, I know that they're like, yeah, but Zeus is vain, so he wouldn't give up his bolts. Just like, why not, though? Whatever. <laughs> well, like, it could make sense. His motivation is like, I want to keep that on me if, if Gore comes here. Oh, I, sorry, I assumed he can have more than one bolt. I didn't realize it was like, you know. I, I wasn't, I'm not clear on that. Uh, I guess you're right. I shouldn't assume it's it's like a normal bolt that he can just turn with magic into like a special weapon. It's it's. I guess it's... A real special bolt, yeah. Um, Anyone else think that that bolt looked like incredibly lame? McDonald's toy. That's what I. It's kind of lame. I yeah, think that, I think that's like what like they were little... going for. I think they wanted it to be like you know lame and campy, as in. But I didn't like it. I, I often yeah. like it when they deliberately make stuff look kind of cheesy. Jay likes lame things. <laughs> yeah, like it's you. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh shit! Man. I can't walk. That's a lie. Um, his second point is just chill out, baby cakes. You're causing panic. Like, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> I'm, 
It's yeah. kind of the point, though. <laughs> though <to make> <laughs> if the Warriors goal is going to kill us all, we might want to let people know. I don't know. And then he says, number three, don't talk back to me. It's like, ugh. So at this point, you're like, man, I love Zeus. What a cool character. He's obviously Definitely, that's how I felt. Mm-hmm. Um, you think out of all the people listening to Thor, there'd at least be a couple saying, oh, yeah, this probably is not good. Maybe we should oh, help. Wait, I'm a god. That's actually, wait a second. yeah, that's something I want to talk about once we get. There's just a, a line a little bit later that's going to prompt that one for me. But uh, Zeus then just sort of says, don't worry, the god butcher will not reach eternity. <laughs> and again, like, I, I think we talked about this last time. It's just like, what is that? And so in an attempt... To reassure everyone that uh, everything's going to be fine, he lets us know that there's a chance Gore can kill every god just like that. Yeah. Like, that's an interesting strategy. Um, it, it's not at all exposition, because this film had nowhere it was going. If Gore was just killing one by one by one, it's just sort of, like, awkward. Especially because he's killing yeah, a whole bunch of gods we've never heard of before. <laughs> and what's funny to me about this, it's not like... If you know, Gore could never reach us in the omnipotent city, we're in like a pocket dimension or something, there's no way for him to get in. He actually says, Oh, there's actually a mechanic that Gore will find in the regular universe that still could kill like all gods, but he won't reach that. That one's too far away. I could reach it with my lightning bolt, but I won't because, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, oh, I don't have the Bifrost, even though Thor is someone I'm talking to directly. And again, as guardians have seemed to have cracked Bifrost, Bifrost travel, so. I don't know, man. Team up. Thor and Zeus. Go get that Eternity Wish. Why not? Um, yeah, I'd they assume should go. That... Why do... God should go to Eternity and get the Wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a really good idea. And then Gore's um, fucked. I'd almost assumed that the other people would have Bifrost technology because it was like the dwarf guy that made Stormbreaker and he says it, he, he was the one that made it to be able to summon the Bifrost. So it seems like this is a higher tech level accessible by other people, but mm -hmm. only... And the Asgardians have it. You'd have to remind me, did did they say the dwarves worked for the Asgardians? Or was it just, oh. they just I don't sort think of so. I, I, th question. I think they made it for other people as well. Like, Thanos knew about them, and he went there and forced him to make the in Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, and he melted stuff on his hands. That was mean. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway. Um, uh, they have this, like... Because of the fact that, yeah, this this plot is just meandering, is, when he says uh, Eternity, I think, like, the camera tightens up on Valkyrie, and she has this face of, like, oh, no. And you realize she's she's realizing, oh, yeah, I forgot, there's that place where you can just kill everything if you want to, and he's heading there. <laughs> it's like, oh, my mm -hmm. God. It's a, it's a really unfortunate thing to forget in a time like this, <laughs> and in a time of crisis. And, and you it's just, almost like it didn't exist five minutes ago. I don't know why they don't think about the fact that, like, oh, man, Valkyrie, why didn't you bring that up before? Yeah, <laughs> like, remember when Thanos this... happened? That would have been really useful to use that wish I for. I know. This is where uh... so much gets broken. There's a wish-granting yeah. entity at the middle of the universe uh, that they already knew about. So, you oh, have the okay. key. You have the fucking <laughs> you key have for the it. Key, you yeah. can just go there and go, like, do 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 I don't know, Yo, well, Heimdall could have gone there this whole time, even in Thor fucking 1, Heimdall could have walked over yeah. with his sword and been like, oh wow, free wish, sweet. Oh, cool. Uh, can you, I need one in your shoes. I, I and my socks. I know, there's no, there's no qualifying thing to get the wish granted <laughs> apart from being the first to just get there. Yeah. Like... And if your goal was to just erase the wish, so just do anything and you say that, and Eternity's like, really? The socks thing? <laughs> I mean, I you, you know what? I'll throw that in, whatever other wish you want, because that's uh, that's an easy one. It's like no, just the socks. It's like yeah, no. yeah. Okay. can I come back later when I need something else? Because <laughs> I just really want the socks right now. <laughs> Have you ever wished for a really good night's sleep? Like no, just the socks. Oh. <laughs> just right. the socks. Once become if you, I, the wishing wish for a stone. Chip, is that one <laughs> wish or three? I wish to become you, eternity. It's like no, yeah. I'm not doing that. So. <laughs> you could do the thing from, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 I'll be you go right. The... You didn't repeat it that time. You picked it up. Woo! <laughs> it is nice. Yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> things just slip under the radar. I don't know how. They just do. I do not know. I don't uh, know either. It will forever remain a mystery. So nice. Had to say it twice. Ooh, yeah. He says, uh, we don't have to worry about that shit because he knows Gore doesn't have the key. The key of which there are like four of them, and you can make them. 
and he has no idea where any of them are. He doesn't even know oh, where nice. Stonebreaker is. I had to is. say it twice. I don't even, like, I just don't... I don't. Oh, ho, ho. Thank you. Um, also, yeah, they don't even ask what the key is, even though Zeus apparently knows what it is. Yeah. I know like, what it is, but he doesn't have it. It's fine. The other gods know? Does <laughs> every god know? Well, that's Who that's knows my point. Zeus know. can't know that he doesn't have it. Who knows if characters or not? <laughs> and question, like, I can't remember, did Thor actually say, sorry, did Zeus say that there was more than one key? No, I'm saying Zeus says oh. you don't need to worry because he doesn't have the key. But it's the implied key. like the only thing you need. It, it, I think it makes no fucking sense at all if you need specifically Stormbreaker as opposed to just the Bifrost. Oh, uh, yeah, of course yeah. it doesn't make it. Like, Stormbreaker was only built recently. Yeah, and so exactly. The, whatever thing could a open up the Eternity must have been around for a long time. And if it was just the Bifrost, that means the Bifrost is this thing in the universe that can be accessed when you have the yeah. right tech. So if Zeus knows that it's the Bifrost that you need, it's weird for him to say the key when there's several of those in the universe and he has no idea where any of them are. Yeah. Presumably. Um, yeah, that's because maybe he's, yeah, yeah. Huh, because I, I, <clears throat> I just assumed he meant the Bifrost at some point. But when he says specifically it's the key, it's like, hmm, does yeah. he mean just the Bifrost? I don't know. I'm just a little confused about the Bifrost. Does that mean there's a straight oh. frost and a gay frost? <laughs> but if there is a gay frost, you'd think the Bifrost would be the gay frost because it's got the rainbow bridge. You know, it's the rainbow. It is the it is the bridge that bridges the gays and straights together. The bi yes, that's it. For all yes, the colors. I get it. Yes. And of course, we have the pan frost. Beautiful. That sounds like a cold pan. <laughs> then there's a fight. And it's shit. I don't have anything it's, to say it's, about it. It's all the fights. Yeah. What do you mean? They have oh, to there fight is... these golden. They have to fight. They, uh, <laughs> speaking, they have to fight these golden people, and none Who of the gods part. do anything. People of gold, please. Pogs, we call them. Pogs. And I'm pretty sure they did make them like fall apart into gold pieces to make sure the audience yeah. isn't isn't confused as to whether or not humans are dying right now, or gods, or whatever. Like, are we fine? Yeah. Are we cool? It's like, yeah, yeah, we're cool. We're fine. They're not real. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're having a good time. We're having a great time. They're bureaucrats, right. Morty. I don't respect them. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> yeah, so... they fight all these golden uh, schlemes, and none of the gods give a shit. They're just watching. And I these poor guards, they're on guard duty. They're doing their job. This guy comes in and just you know around. starts talking smack, and they're like, "Hey, we're just here to pull you aside. You know, you're out of line." And then they just get getting slaughtered wholesale. That was a lot. Blood we're just everywhere. Random guards just sort of doing their job. Just they just become bullet fodder for the heroes. And we're like, mm -hmm. like, come on, wait, come on, hold on. Wait, those were These just could be nice guys. Just, this God. is like murder. Just um, you know. Oh, I forgot to put part two in the title. My bad. That'll be on the re-upload. Don't worry about it. Um, it's part one, part two. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not even... I don't think it's, anyway, did, did I really three. call it part one in the title? That's so embarrassing. Did no, I didn't. I just didn't oh, call it anything. Okay. Part two. With Jay. <laughs> I'm tempted to put it twice. With, where did I put... I usually Jay put part two at the end, right? I I've don't actually know. Completely forgotten my naming conventions. Oh well. Um, someone super chatted. Start. Not to defend this film, but it's implied only the Necro Sword knows what the key is, or was. The and Necro like, Sword. Why would why would that be a defense of the film? Because that that doesn't explain how Zeus yeah. knows it then, does it? Yeah, and also why? Yeah, like well, I don't that's know why. Just a mechanic <laughs> yeah. the Necro Sword has, and what like it's odd. And that meme will be relevant soon. Don't worry, Mel. We're not. We're almost there to talk all I about just, that. I just posted it just to just to have it here. Um. So I got good news, chat. Good good news for everyone. But uh, unfortunately, people who've seen this movie know that this is fleeting good news. Korg dies. Oh Whoa, no! Whoa! Good. Wow. Now you hate him. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm happy to admit that. I really liked him in I, Ragnarok. I also I liked him in Ragnarok quite a lot. But in this yeah. movie, I. It's amazing how a movie can make me want someone to die so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> really, everything impressive. he was like, every joke he was coming out with was lame. And then I think what really annoyed me was when he like. That's why. Fucking... That's how we value lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what he what he uh, made everyone like he pointed to Thor as being like this is the guy who's talking. It's like it was such a weird like what are you doing, um, being an asshole. Well, he's, Be not, he's not really a character, is he? He's just kind no. of like there to do whatever the plot demands and make yeah. jokes. 
Well, people find him funny, so we have to have him in the movie again. Well, I used so, to find him funny. Go. Ragnarok, but yeah. well, just like the just like the film. I, you know what? If if Taika Waititi made a third Thor film and it was like back up to par with Ragnarok and he was in it, you know, I I feel like maybe he would be funny again. Maybe. Yeah. I like him when he's good. Um, but yeah, he gets hit with the uh, the thunderbolt and dies, and then Thor gets very mad. And it's funny because it's like, oh wait, fuck, is that, is that like a... Because like, I remember thinking to myself when I first saw it, just, just, I wasn't ready for anything serious to happen in this film at all. And then I'm just like, so is that serious then? Are we, is he dead? Am I supposed... Do you want yeah, me to engage in a... Yeah, the is so confused at this point, you don't really know no, what to like, think. You're kind of looking at the film like, am I... You're fucking with me, right? Like, do you're not... Exactly. Like, <laughs> do you want me to be, like, sad about this? Yeah, or? what's the joke? Uh, uh... Yeah, like, you're kind of looking at it, just squinting, like, he's not... No, he's not dead. Nah. Like, but not even... This is a like, no, kind of no, movie, right? Bored. Like, no, you... you the, also, the tone is all over the place. Yeah, but if, if they were going to kill someone off, he would be a perfect... You know, he's not a significant character for the overall plot and everything, and it's just been dragging it down. I was like, oh... Actually, we might have made a good choice when they thought oh, no, that they might have killed him off, and then of course, no, he's not dead. So, um, yeah, so, not the way they did it, I think. Well, so what does this mean? That the fact that he fell into pieces and he was like, "Oh no, I'm dead now." Uh, I found that let's call it, you know, shocking to the amount of like five out of ten. Um, for anybody <laughs> who is following our description of this movie and has no idea what's about to happen next, Thor grabs the thunderbolt and fires it back at Zeus, and it goes straight through his heart. And, yeah, uh, is it? yeah, and that, yeah. yeah, that's that's. I mean, like I, I, I'm not lying when I say many characters are like Zeus is dead, and uh, yeah. Zeus, Zeus falls off his platform and just, you know, uh, so. I found that way more shocking, and then I didn't. My brain was like, "You just killed Zeus," and yeah. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, of course they did, because they don't give a fuck." No. Yeah. Um. <sighs> so, so like yeah uh, but but i suppose we may as well jump ahead immediately because like i think the film's been out long enough that a lot of people are going to be like aren't you going to address the fact that that's there's an after credit scene where zeus is fine um yeah but they let you believe for a good hour that zeus has just been executed by thor that casually it's just like yeah okay it, it was actually shocking shocking how easy it looked yeah uh um, like oh oh that happened the fuck? Yeah. You'd think Zeus would have control over his thunderbolt. He could just stop it mid-air or anything. He just he just takes it and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they imply for a moment there's like Thor is better with the thunderbolt than, than Zeus. You're just like, okay, uh, I guess this movie's bad enough to where I can believe you believe that. So just, yeah, I whatever. Believe, you know, delayed. just fine. Whatever yeah, you want. Like, yeah, fine. Just do it. Whatever. Just whatever gets whatever us to the end want. faster. <laughs> And um, yeah, and then Whatever Korg is like, Korg Thor, is I'm actually alive because the only part of a Krogan, or what are they called? Is it Krogan? Not a Krogan. No, 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 Krogan. Well, Fr Fringy's Fringy's being indignant because Krogans are from Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Yeah, I haven't played Krogans that. Krogans are cool. That's all right. Krogans One day, are cool. hopefully, you shall. Organ? Did you know? Krogan? Did you know most people? The fun right. side effect about the Krogans in Mass Effect was it statistically because of by by the end Rex was dead for most people. Okay, like, it was that's, that's kind of surprising. Cronin. Because in in the first game, by default, he dies. That's so, so lame, the way that it? Like, yeah, that's, it, that's, it's super fucking lame. Choice. So you have to. It, so if you like buy the second or third game and you do auto selection choices. He's automatically dead. So they don't dumb. even err on the side <laughs> of him being alive. But when Mass Effect Three came out, or shortly after it, they did some. The Bioware put out something like statistically about all the choices and stuff. And Rex surviving by like being around by the end was like really low. It sucked. It was so fucking lame because Rex is cool. He is. He's really cool character. Don't know why they would default to getting rid of him rather than keeping him around. His games were not perfect. So oh, Cronin, Carrying on. right? Cronin. 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 Right. The only Cronin, part of them that's alive Baron. is their mouth. That's what he says, even though his eyes are moving around and doing all kinds mm -hmm. of... But then again, all of his body parts are doing things. So I, I can believe that he's... Though. 
I can believe that Korg is just a walking fucking mouth in this movie. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you could believe he's fucking stupid enough to think all that's alive. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That too. Um. So yeah, he's fine, and he whistles to call in the screaming goats because. You've been laughing so much at the other jokes that you just want to have that Korg, banquet of comedy. Vocal, vocal rock. Before we um, jump I, forward, I, yeah, I just wanted to see if there's, we, I don't know, your reactions to the the gratuitous golden blood flying everywhere. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, like, uh, to me it was unnecessary and they were only doing it because, hey, it's not real blood so we can spray it everywhere. And they went over the top to just have it literally in your face and it's like yeah i don't know well wait, 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 wait calm down it wasn't literally in our faces yes it was yeah. no Waller, <laughs> don't you think his side you're both wrong <laughs> wow if, if it's covering a lot of the screen and the screen is yeah. in your face then it's, it's the screen your face. isn't literally in your face either you can't well, put the definition of what's screen. in your face no, you no, if you're watching a screen, screen I don't, I don't like, oh, wow, this yeah. Discord, this Discord overlay is your literally face. in no, my wait, 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 wait. face. I, I guess <laughs> nothing is literally <laughs> in your face. Covering... Nothing is literally, literally in your face unless you're eating you it, I guess. Yes. Oh, <laughs> hang, hang on, hang on, Jay. Your brain is literally in your face, you could say. Well, my it's brain in your is head. in my head. It's in your I skull, would... yeah. In your face is a strange way to say that. Is your nose literally in your face? Um... I think it's if I put kinda. something in you're my not, nose, it I'd would say be your in my nostrils face. are in your face. Yeah, but not your nose. Okay, okay. So your snot is in your face. Yeah, sure. assuming okay. it's in your nose. So, yes. so therefore, the term "in your face" is always inappropriately applied. Well, I no, don't know. We well, just discussed well, two things so that were in your face. The, the thing is, there were different levels of the way that literally can be meant. So it's like if so the correct way and all the wrong. Well, no, ones. no. As in, okay, so. If you're going to say, like, literally in my face, right, you could mean that I am using the literal meaning of all the words, or you could mean it is literally, like, on my face. That's not the literal meaning of all the words, but it is the literal meaning of the phrase, or you could mean that it's near your face, but, and, and then you would be wrong, like, in every way, because it's just not in your face at that point. I think that the point yeah, no, no, is I, that I, I, the blood was not literally in our face. I explained well, that wait, really wait, wait, poorly. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. There is, a, there is a colloquial definition of the term in your face. You know, you got in my face and everything like that. And if you if you achieve that definition, you can apply literally to have you're achieving that, that definition. It was, you're saying it was literally figuratively. It, it literally achieved the figurative definition of the term. What a Dang, worthless oh, wow. thing to say. Hey. Oh, it's true though, Rags! You no, found, it, that's no he yes. found his way out of the maze, Rags. So, he did it. So it depends, no, no, okay, it depends it which sense. part of the it's sentence madness. the word literally is modifying. <laughs> this is mad. <laughs> it's literally figuratively true. At what point? No, no, no. The term. Rags, have you ever used the term he, in your face? It's in your face. So I, I, yes. Okay, okay. So therefore, you could apply something to try and add emphasis to the meaning of the term. But that so removes the figurative okay. element of anything. Like, don't say literally, because it's not literally. It, it is literally not literally. <laughs> like, it's figuratively. The words you would just exist. say You just wouldn't have the word there. You just say, well, the blood was in your face. Yeah. yeah. Or, because then mm, we would assume yeah, that you're being word. figurative, but when you apply literally to it, well, now that brings everything into question. Now, to be fair, most people will understand what you mean, because many people use the word literally incorrectly. But Damn. I, Many they do. It's so they much do. So that Many people do use it incorrectly. And I hate it. Word literally now, so also mean it's antonym. Like it's just very. I don't get it. Absolute madness. Several people are like, "Wow, Mola, make them move on." It's like, do you really think I don't enjoy this? You move on. <laughs> it, it, it is pretty funny, right? Just like move on. Three hours, guys. We're allowed to talk about whatever we feel like. <laughs> this is our show. And this is important <laughs> stuff, people. Yes, this is important. It is. We need to end this. Regarding the, regarding the blood, it was. I, let me ask you this, Shad. Would you feel the same way, or do you feel the same way about the droids in the prequel trilogy? How they were always getting cut up and slashed apart and an oil. You know, I think I think I would if they slowed it down and you saw the pieces and the components being busted out bit by bit. Like my odd point of. My, well, my odd point of comparison is uh, probably an obscure reference. Did anyone watch the Animatrix? I know yeah, of it. I've seen clips. I did see it, yeah. 
so so there's one um it's a whole different kind of uh, ensemble of different episodes covering different things about and so one of them is like the depiction of how the rising up of the robots and there's a couple of scenes where they show the mistreatment of the robots and there's one part where you see a robot head getting slowly crushed by like a, a tank of some kind and you see the this head slowly getting crushed with components and pieces busting out bit at a time and they actually make it look gratuitous in terms of how graphic a robot head is getting crushed hmm. and so i think you actually can make something fairly gratuitous even if it's not you know i agree with it like, in theory i um whether or not this scene does it i there's that the one bit that stuck out to me was when valkyrie like slices three of them and then like showers in their blood it's really weird yeah but it, it wasn't it was just it wasn't the fact that it was their we it was like a weird golden shower that's mm. yeah and uh and, and it gave me the impression of just like man does valkyrie suck like she she's like i'm so fucking cool in the middle of like fighting for her and her friends lives god she's a vain character but and then again me, they I all mean, are in this i mean that is someone's blood as well i'm just thinking like pretty much yeah. i don't think it I don't think this changes just because of the fact it's gold like i don't i don't think these things are robots right they're just i don't know I what mean, they the are fact <laughs> that it's it's if it was i mean the if it was blood of course that would be really off-putting yeah um and i think the fact the i MCU mean you're right really in the fact that because it wasn't blood they could show it in that way because it isn't blood in the same way you'd have samurai jack you know when mm -hmm. the, the robots getting cut up in that and spurting oil everywhere yeah well like Again, um ashes uh, dust uh, gases of any kind. People like to do it when they have the freedom to, but when because the coloring it, they'll change the literal color of blood from red to green or blue in post if uh, it means they can get away with more. I want to say well, that Star Trek, uh, that was an issue with Star Trek uh, one of the, the motion pictures only the first one was called the motion picture, but you know, one of the movies, uh, the originals Star Trek movies where Cleon blood needed to be recolored yeah. so that they could show it floating in zero gravity and not get like you know hmm. risk getting a higher rating than they really wanted to be mm -hmm. what, what were you it? saying fringy i can't remember Fine. Um, <laughs> no i think, uh, oh, I think one part was oh no it's back um oh. marvel really likes having like sort of a uh, faceless enemies that can be killed without any moral consideration <laughs> yes uh, yeah that's true <laughs> they love it they don't want you to think about whether the golden blood people are like actually sentient or anything. Uh, or you like, know that's what happened when they designed them. They were like, "What will the enemies be?" It's like soldiers, I guess. Like people. And they're like, "What? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Um, people they are will too be, human. They will be like statues that come alive and they bleed golden blood. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so we could fuck them up. Fuck them up. Yeah, don't question it. It's fine. It should have. They should have done the thing from callback time. Laura, uh, the Laura, uh, is it Lara Croft or Laura Croft? Lara? Lara. Lara no, Croft. Lara. The, um, oh, there yeah. was the Angelina Jolie one where she's fighting the big stone monster and she's shooting chunks off of it. I remember. They should have done that. Oh. Rags, why would you think that her name was Laura Croft when it's Lara Croft? Like, it's, there's no you in there. Like, I, I I just why does I anybody know. make I, any mistakes? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say why would any why would you think anything is a thing that it might not be? Why would anyone make mistakes? Well, like, I understand, it's Rex. Like... In your accent, they kind of sound similar. Yeah. yeah, that's why I asked. Laura, Laura, so, yeah, Laura, La Laura, Laura. Yeah, so I so I, I don't think it's more. It sounds like Laura, like as in shortening of Lauren. So, Laura shortening of Lauren. Yeah, no, I think those are two different names, right? Laura and Lauren exactly. over here on on like shortened oh, okay. versions. Yeah, like uh, Lauren well, yeah, is just was... the name of a person, and Laura is just the name of a person. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. those right. those might be good EFAT movies. The the Lara Croft movies. They made two, right? The first yeah. one in Cradle, the of, Cradle Life. of Life. I've seen both. Yeah, I've it seen both two J. I've seen both two. Yeah, not yes. so I've not seen Lord of the Rings. Jeez, that's great. Right. <laughs> no, Rags just yeah, I was, reminded I was playing us into the meme. that there's no Lord of the Rings that's been seen, but two Lord, Lord, Laura Croft. Yeah, that, that, oh, was, that was the no. joke, yes. That's the pain. There's no joke there, Jay. That's just pain. <laughs> By the way, yesterday I was playing Trivial Pursuit with Good. Uh, some people, and I got, a, I got a question, and it was a Lord of the Rings question. Fucking nailed it. The question was, how many rings did the men get? 
And I was like, oh, once the question started, it was men. like in the Lord of the Rings. I was already going, bring it. You know, I was like, Shad would get it, Fringy would get it, I would get it, Metal would get it. Jay would not. And you should Jay, be able to. how many to... rings did the men get? The mortal men doomed to die. How Three. many rings did they get, Jay? Three. You know what? That is a number. That is not correct. <laughs> Damn. I was, I was really hoping that I could just name yeah, a number and it would I be right. I can picture Rags attaching a is golden star sticker to Jay when he said that. Wait, is it eight? <laughs> no, but you're close. You're very close. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. Ooh. Nine. Elves got three. Dwarves got seven. The men got nine. But there was another ring. That was so a bastard. why did the elves get shafted? Why did they only get three? No, they, they, didn't get they, they didn't, dude. They were way better rings. There was there was, there was less of them, but oh, did you see them? Oh. I think I don't think they got shafted at all. I think it was just a. Uh, it was almost like the less rings you got, the better. Almost. I don't know the. Did lore you see them I'm in sure the movie? They look so shiny and clean. Maybe it was because of, like shiny. the amount of leaders that you had. Like maybe there were like three main elven leaders, so you get one, and there were seven main dwarf leaders. They all got one, and by now Sauron's like. Oh. And so then he yeah, goes to the men, and they're like, how many kings you guys got? And they're like, we got nine. He's like, fucking hell, god he's, he's like, no, come on. Nine? What, what is that? <laughs> nine? <laughs> really? Not, I, was, I was over here last month, and there were four of you. <laughs> you guys are lying. You're trying to get more you rings lying. out of me. You just saw that the dwarves got seven, and uh, well, the, you really are greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to write. My yeah, little I said poem. it. They're greedy. <laughs> and, uh... When they meet up, like the men are like, "Oh, we got nine. You, you elves, you got three, huh?" And then the elves are like, "Yeah, well, I was, uh, I was glowing the dark." Yeah, it's yeah, so. I guess there's only three of us. Yeah. And the men I guess are we're like, just not oh. that, you know, you know, we're not greedy like you are. One of them has a mood ring, and he's like, "That's pretty cool." Yeah. You guys don't we're have that. We're not greedy and desire power above all else, so um, it's mm. all good. Three's fine with us. We're satisfied with our three. Clearly, you're not satisfied with your nine. So who's the real loser? We're almost uh, a third of the way through the stream, and we have made progress on about five minutes of movie. To... <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> go, go, go. go. What happens style. next? All right, all right. What happens next is uh, they leave. They they get out of there. Oh, Valkyrie does a kiss with a grill. Uh, no, she doesn't. Which is she, really She like, looks at her seductively, weird. doesn't she? I thought she, she kissed her hand. She kisses the hand. Oh, yeah, she kisses the hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. That is that is a bizarre <laughs> moment, because just a moment ago, this lady and her party just showed up to this place, fucking killed Zeus that this woman <laughs> yes. was hanging out with, and then one of them's like, I'm going to give you a smooch on the hand, because that's what we can get away with these days. And well, I'm these, like, these oh, women, oh. like, These women as well were like presented as like Zeus's harem or something? Like, they were Kinda, all there yeah. around, yeah, they, around Zeus, like, and they're, they're, you know, these hot women all around Zeus. And dudes. So, Oh, wait, were there dudes as well? I think there were yeah. some dudes, I think. There were dudes. It was like his entourage. And horses. Pre it was <laughs> probably his friends. Was, they were probably Zeus's friends. <laughs> we Zeus don't have clear. any friends. He's an asshole, okay? No one likes him. That's not true. He probably has many friends. No, he's, he's a I cowardly mean, wait, asshole who I, lives I, in I, omnipotent city. I would I would suspect more um, quickly that they were there, like, as, I don't know, they, they were, like, people he thought was hot. Or they were like whores or something like hookers. Whores isn't the nicest word. He doesn't have to hire. Yeah. He's Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. That's he true. Demands. But what like, is, you what know. is the I nature of that? He's like, that he I guess, likes like, to okay, hang sure, out they, with them and their friends. Doesn't it, they could doesn't be feel, Zeus's groupies? Doesn't it feel kind of weird though that like we, they've introduced to us this entire network of gods and it's like Zeus is their boss and then he gets killed and you're like, what and is nobody happening? And then we leave and nothing ever comes. Nobody. That's, that's, yeah, that's like, kind of weird. I've heard some people be like, oh, it's such an awesome introduction to the world of the gods in the MCU. And it's just like, no, it's shit. It's so shit. No. Well, so they, underwhelming. They, they, they mention Ra by name because yeah. they don't realize they've already brought that shit up before and everyone forgot about Dude, it. Dude, I am fully convinced that uh, those two scripts were probably written at similar times, like referencing Ra, both of them. I guess they don't say, they don't use Ra's name in Moon Knight at any point, right? But we know he's there. Like, he's one of the statues. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm almost certain the Moon Knight creators and the creators of the Taika Waititi, had, they had no connection. No discussion at all. No, why? And why would they? <laughs> you know? Point of that. Yeah, fuck it. Do whatever you want. No one cares. Um, yeah, and uh, it cuts to Thor giving the kids another rousing speech, and this is the closest we actually get to a not pain. Um, but it opens with a bit like, I can't believe he killed Zeus, and he's like, yeah, never beat your heroes. Uh -huh. Which is just such like, what do I even make of this? Like, <laughs> 
guess. <laughs> All right, fine, whatever. All right, yeah. But he I says guess. like, keep being brave, look after each other, work as a team, and you'll and and they're like getting kind of inspired by it, and you're like, oh, and then he's getting tickled while he's doing this vision by Valkyrie. Yeah. Which is really weird because you might be like, oh, this is just a nitpick, but I don't know. Like, if the kids are terrified. And you're doing a message to try and make them feel better, and then you're fucking with the person doing that. I could see myself getting irrationally angry if I were in that room, like, you know, pulling her away and being like, stop fucking around. I yeah, think like, that would be like, rationally angry. Yeah, that would be rationally angry. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <then. laughs> we will bat to, we'll come to your defense in your own, in your own hypotheticals. Yeah, um, and yeah, she annoys me even more. I don't like Valkyrie in this film, but that's uh, that's fine. I don't like anybody. I don't like her at all, <laughs> which is a shame considering she, she didn't really need to be in this film at all. Thor is doing his like sort of around meathead thing that they like to do with him, where he's just like, ah, everything's going great, and then she's supposed to be the character that's gonna give us the reality, and she says, "There's no plan. We failed to raise a god army. Korg is dead, and you got humiliated." I have I take issue with all four of her points. <laughs> Number one, there's no plan. It's like so the plan yeah. is to kill Gore with the Thunderbolt. That was like explicitly their plan. Yeah. So, yep. Raising a god army, you certainly didn't help by well, insisting that uh that you would start killing people. If, the if, problem like, with that one is what you guys were kind of talking about earlier. I was waiting for that line because it's like they never even tried. They just Zeus just said, "Nah, I ain't doing it." And it's like, what about everyone else? Yes, there's no one there willing to help. Yeah, does no one there say like, "Yeah," but they're gonna leave out the back like, what door? A... Or they say, "Actually, I care a little bit." What a waste! We're not as all well. gods of war. Imagine taking on like just three fun little references. They don't even have to be real gods from anywhere. You could just make them up, whatever. Um, bring them with you, and and they get involved in the fight. I don't know. Just but just yeah. like no, none of the yeah. gods are coming. It's like okay, you didn't oh, even no. have time the only to know that. Come as the god of sarcasm. That that could be fun. This is what I mean. There's so much fun god to be had, cream. and I think if Taika gave a shit, we would have had that kind of fun. But kind of, yeah. Instead, we're stuck with stuck with these. Just we stuck with losers who um, aren't funny. Her third point: Korg is dead. Is like. He's obviously not. Like, and he hasn't been yeah. this whole time. He's been talking to you He's directly. He's tied to your face. Like, yeah. And then uh, her last point: you got humiliated. He's specifically referring to him being stripped naked, by the way. Well, which she didn't even try to stop. And yeah, it's, um, was, like, yeah. yeah, yeah you're lucky Disney's so progressive, or you'd be up there too. It's such a weird sort of thing for her to say, like as if that should be counted alongside these other. Drastic yeah, situation yeah. things like Take the L, like, Thor. Like, you know, we may get killed. Korg actually died. Someone saw your dick. <laughs> like, okay. Alrighty. Well, sorry, I was try. Sorry, I was giving a fuck and trying to save the universe or whatever. Yeah, if only like, my friends I, I, helped me. You know. Yeah, it's yeah. I wish I had some friends to help me in my time of peril. You guys, even my friends, really? Or do you just hear to is take no. my stuff and well, ridicule me? To be fair, we're not going to get this scene, but, you know, Valkyrie could be saying stuff like, yeah, I don't really care about you, you abandoned Asgard. Remember you, your rule for like five years where I did everything and you just ate food and played Fortnite? Do you remember this? And then you abandoned us after that for the Guardians. Then you came back random. See what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that's happened, but we just don't care anymore. None of it actually is in the narrative. It's just, uh, I'm in, I'm telling my story, and I'm out. And then the next guy's like, well, now I'm in, and I'm telling my story, and I'm out. That's my, that was my, I was stories. thinking when you were saying that, I was like, well, that would mean they'd have to care about the past, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's annoying though, because like, uh, they miss out on what could be pretty fun drama that's all set up right there. You know, you don't even have to do work for that one, that's all there. Yeah, because <sighs> there is this hanging thing in the air that they even kind of partially acknowledged that the people actually seem to prefer Thor as the leader. When he started talking, everyone went quiet and they listened to him, yeah. the people of Asgard. And it could be that Thor actually needs to lead the people. The people want him as their leader. They look to him still, and he hasn't been doing his responsibility. There's an issue there they could address, but they, they won't. Uh, and then Thor has a quote. It says, Killing Zeus may or may not be catastrophic for the entire universe, and we may be hunted for the rest of our lives by the God Kingdom. Yeah. yeah like, oh. that's, and it's, that's about it on that topic, and I'm just sitting here like, man, 
Yeah, it might be catastrophic for the entire universe that you killed Zeus. Like, yeah, probably. <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny joke. <sighs> Whatever. And then, you know, there's probably some writers out there, even in the MCU right now, who are like, man, I would have liked to have written Zeus, but it's too late now. He's already that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a question. Have we moved past the um, baby eating comment? Was that when they were... Yeah, that was last stream. Oh, yeah, we definitely went over that. That was, uh, that was really funny. It was your favorite joke, wasn't it, Chad? Oh, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Of course. Just makes them look like vile, evil nutcases, and but uh, okay, yeah, sure, that was funny. And then Thor is complimenting the bolt to try and make everyone feel better about their state of affairs. And he just he says like the bolt is sleek and slender and amazing. And then their fucking boat ship rocks because Stormbreak is getting upset. Yeah, the because fucking weapon is getting another... jealous again. Just I... Fuck off. And like he walks up to it and he's like, "Don't worry, bro. Mjolnir's in my past." Like. We're, we're, we're totally fine. We're doing good, right? And I'm just like, I don't... Joke is not working for me. Go away. Yeah. Please, leave me alone. It's time for your first beer. It's like, can you shut up, please? And um, I mean, I know it's a joke, and that this is the issue why it doesn't work, is because, I mean, Thor ha did use Mjolnir and Stormbreaker together yep. in Endgame, and of course there was no issues then, but hey, jokes, right? Well, and as Fringy brought up, I think, the last stream we had... If he gives up one of those two, it's Mjolnir in Endgame. Yeah, he Passes gives up off. Mjolnir because he'd rather have Stormbreaker. So. Yeah, Mjolnir's the little one. Yep. Yeah. Which so. uh, which feels like much more of a Thor line compared to, oh no, my, my hammers are getting jealous of each other. Oh. Did Taika Waititi watch, like, the other oh, Marvel no, movie? Oh, no, no, no. watch his own movie again? Oh, so, like, double check. Oh, no, no. no. So, um, you guys might be wondering, you're not, but uh, that's how I'm setting this up. <laughs> What's Valkyrie's arc in this film? What is even her character? And it's like, you know what? Taika had that same thought, and so he decided to just have Korg say, uh, he's, he's singing a song to her, and then he's like, do you think the Thors are going to get together? And then she's like, nah. And then I think she has some passing comment about how love is hard to find or something. And then he's like, do you not want to meet a special woman because you've lost your sisters in battle and blame yourself and ever since have tried to find some answers at the bottom of a bottle, which only serves to numb the pain instead of bringing you the real satisfaction and happiness? Man. And it's um, pretty cool. funny. Bro, it's almost it like mean? It's too subtle for me to There's understand. gotta be like a, a name for this, where it's just like uh, you're trying to cheat under the, the guise of a joke when you're trying to just shove in character quickly. You're like, I gotta get this out of the way. That's your character, okay? It's like, you can't just say that. And it's like, no, I can. It'll be funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, and yeah, you're just trying to get that benefit. Um, but nobody cares about Valkyrie, so it's just like, yeah, whatever. She drinks. That's all we've got. <laughs> she, she was a drunk uh, in the previous movie. She's still drinking now. Writing. Um, Writing. And then one of my favorite parts happens because it just ele it, it, it illustrates the big problem with this whole idea for these characters. They're about to have a conversation, these two, and you have uh, uh, a good old main character say Jane, and then she looks at him and says Thor, and it's like, oh yeah, because that's your names, isn't it? It's not like he said, Mighty Thor, Thor. Cause that's not at all how it would make sense at all. So it's just, I just think it's funny that even the script knows at times where it's just like, yeah, that's his name. It's not really the role. Oh, wait, no, no, he, he said, no, Mola, he said Dr. Jane Foster. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he respects her and that's what's important. Um, But yeah, I think we get possibly the best thing in this movie and it's not great, but it's, it's like, that's kind of why I'm highlighting it that way. He brings up what Star-Lord told him. Star-Lord said it's better to feel bad about something good having happened than not feeling anything at all, basically. And then he says to Jane, basically, that he would like to start something back up and for it to go bad than not do anything at all. Um, and he, he says something like, I closed my heart off. Though at one point he, he says like he tried meditation, all it did was make him angry, and she says, yeah, meditation sucks or something. It's just like, why even... What? That is, what's the... <laughs> I guess the joke is that meditation sucks... The joke is that they're both, they like, both suck at it? I guess so. Well, I, uh, they suck at meditation? I don't know. I, it's, yeah, it's, like, funny. Oh, it's boring. It's like, oh, alright. All right, 
Um, yeah, not like says, this uh, movie. This movie's a laugh a second. Well, speaking of which, Rags, uh, this is we we referenced this in the previous stream, but this is where Thor says, "I just want to be with you, Jane," and then she says, "I I have cancer." And he, and he's like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm so sorry." Like, uh, yeah, there's there's people who laugh at this point. I don't yeah. even know if it's a joke anymore. Everything's too hard to understand. I think people laugh because you don't know what you're supposed to laugh at when you're watching uh, like a pretty <sighs> yeah. bad movie. You're like, I'm meant to be laughing. Marvel movies have the jokes and everything. So like you just, but at that point you're not even really engaging with the story at all. You're just kind of there for like, I guess all of the beats that you expect in a Marvel movie. Pretty much, um, it's all a joke, Waller. Yeah, it is. And we are the punchline. You watched it. Damn it. They um, us. yeah, she's like, I was feeling tired. I had stage four. They told me to get things in order, and I thought if science fails me, Viking space magic. Might not, and Mjolnir called to me, and it's just like I don't think that's what they showed us. It was more so she just read. No, it's it. not. So it's whatever at this point. It's 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 whatever. And um and he says, Jane, none of us know how long we have, and Mjolnir chose you because you're worthy, and that's something like on its own. When I met you, I was unworthy, but meeting you made me worthy because you made me worthy by telling me what I think. He literally says like, you let me know. It's it's important to like you know, fight for people, or something or other, and, and I think that this is the film's sort of, sort of quickest way of being like, yeah, of course she's worthy, she's the reason he's worthy. Yeah. You're sort of like, hmm. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> like, this, I guess that's about as good as you can do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's mm -hmm. sort of Um... Yeah, and then, and then he's like, now, what do you want to do? And she's like, I want to save those children. And he says, spoken like a true Thor. Uh, and it's like, uh, That's his name. This is what I mean, like, it's just, it's, it's not even half-baked. This is just completely raw, this script. It hasn't been given any kind of... <laughs> it's raw! Raw! That's like if Shad was to say, come! And then I'd say, yes, yeah, spoken like a true J. Yeah, but that'd be funny, though. Say that. <laughs> yeah, that I'd be fine be with you saying that. Yeah, that'd work. It would work as a joke. Yeah, Already better writing indeed. the script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A random character just yelling, come, would be better than Thor, Love and Thunder. If, so, Thor, if Thor at any point in the movie just went, come, I would probably have left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come. So, um, it goes all black and white. Which is something that they told us was, was uh, you know, color fears to tread or something was this place and blah, blah, blah. And they're all, like, reacting to it in the sense of they look at their hands and they look at everything else and they're just like, whoa. And then Korg it's says, like, where did all the color go? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, Thank you for this observation. I'm almost certain that's what it was, that they were like, don't you think we should have one of the characters say it? Come on. Was, that in, was it in ADR? Well, I guess we'll never know because it was Korg saying it, right? Oh, that's a good point, actually. It could have been done in post at any point. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was so that the colorblind people in the audience who were watching the movie... You know, you, know, you can like... do that... Like, you can you can do that way better. You can just make the color change in a way that is noticeable to colorblind people. I was about to say, um, a lot of forms of colorblindness... Rags is specifically referring to people who see in black and white. Then, um, well, yeah. So that and that's like, that's incredibly rare. Like yeah. um, most colorblind people can see um, two of the three um, kind base colors that we can see. I... You mean you big boys, blue, red, and yellow, green. Um, I in the light spec, no, no, in the light spectrum, the primary colors is blue, green, and uh, cyan, magenta, yeah. yellow. Every every other color yellow. we see is a combination of blue, red, and green. Well, um, I know that I, the I guess the reason why is because I remember that uh because of course RGB right like that's yeah red, green, blue. Um, it's just that I remember uh like you remember in uh in school when it's like here's how you learn about the colors. And then you have yeah, because they're they're teaching pigments. The, the The primary yeah. colors in pigments is red, yellow, blue, but in light, it's green, red, blue. Right. Well, actually, the the primary colors of pigment are cyan, yellow, magenta. That people don't talk oh, about. Oh, oh, to be technical. Sure, sure, but <laughs> well, we've all learned something today. Yeah, maybe. Metal didn't. Very stupid. 
So, they arrive. Yeah. Great. And now I want to remind everybody, like, what do we they know They arrive about? on the moon! Yeah, it kind of and, really and, does feel that way. <laughs> so and like, and the know. movie, just, just to show, you know, the movie has to rob every element of dramatic tension that there's this spooky place that they're arriving to. We see the boat, you know, going towards the planet. And then it smacks into the planet because it's small, and that's funny. It doesn't even really make yeah, sense like thinking a, about and it. And it's also like a just a Rick and Morty joke. Yeah, it's a. I would go as far as saying ninety nine percent rip off. Like, as in, it's if you put them together, the only difference, obviously, is just the the fact that it's uh, made to look real versus animated. But um, it feels well, weird like, because it's a joke yeah, that's if, like if one to one. That, yeah, if Tyke has seen that, he just copied it. Like, Why would Stormbreaker not be able to tell the difference? Why can't all, they? Like, does Stormbreaker have bad depth perception? Why they they are on the boat and they were staring at the planet? I don't know. Whatever. Fine. It's it's Shad's right. It is so funny. Shad's favorite joke once again. Number one. Number two maybe. But ah, oh, mm. good stuff. I laughed. Um, I laughed in the theater and I clapped. Yeah. Wow. I could hear it from from Britain. Wow, that is a Shad clap right there. I love being able to hear the shad clap. Flapping earth cheeks. <laughs> so, nice. what do we know? They're on the moon. We, they've talked already about how it seems to be a trap, what Gore's setting up. And the only other interesting piece of information they really have about him, outside of the whole shadow stuff, is that he tried to take Stormbreaker off Thor. That's a thing that happened. Both of these pieces of information have been completely forgotten now. I don't know why. Because when they get onto this place... They look around for a while, and then Jane sees that he's got little little fridge drawings with crayon in his room, because Gore likes to draw little pictures on his little notepad. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's drawn a picture of when he's going to get Stormbreaker and open the key with the door, with the, with the open the door to eternity. And so she says, <gasps> it's a trap! And it's, and it's sort of just imagine? like, yeah. That was, of course it was. Yeah. Duh. That was and then she doubt. she throws Stormbreaker away, and Thor's like, "Why did you do that?" And she's like, "He yeah. wants Stormbreaker. It's the key to eternity." So I threw it over there. And this <laughs> this is what's weird about it. It's like, why do you think throwing it over there means that Gore can't get it? Exactly. You can't just tell now. Three shadow. You've just disarmed Thor. This is the and... Shadow Realm. <laughs> like wherever yeah. you put, it, all you've done is separate Thor from Stormbreaker. Um, <laughs> but like, okay, that's the plan. Uh, it's such the a plan. fucking weird scene, because this is the thing, all of it's so jarring, because I thought we knew all of this, but then it all gets re-realized, and now we're doing stupid shit again. It's like, okay, Gore turns up, and it's like, oh god, here we go, big fight, and they, they sort of do like a hero, like, oh, I'm gonna get you, and he just ties them all up with his vines. It's like, oh. Wow, yeah, those sorry, vibes are effective, not... aren't they? It's like it's a really yeah. good, it's a really good fight. Like, they, they wouldn't be able to challenge him at any point because he could just tie him up with those vibes. Well, exactly. imagine he had done yeah. it when. So this is this is the thing that fucking blows my mind. You might be like, wait, so she grabbed Stormbreaker out of Thor's hand to throw it, and you're like, no, she picked it up off the floor. It was just on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. So, all Gore had to do was turn up, grab it when nobody was looking, and then leave. Leave, yeah. <laughs> Instead, he waits until they all, like, realize he's there because they saw his little crayon drawings, and then and then he tries to attack them, and he, he starts going, like, Call the axe! <laughs> like, um... <sighs> Everything about this sucks. Anyway... Yeah. Um, he's doing, like, you have this, like fucking deathly ill looking person that's like demonic and there's what looks to be blood coming out of his mouth and he's doing his like whispery spooky voice and and, and he says call the act and then Thor goes you need to call the dentist does he actually say that? I didn't even yeah that. and it's like okay I guess <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing I don't know and you might think like well he can still maintain his intimidation on his end right um We'll get to that in a second. So he's, uh, he keeps telling him to call the axe and he won't do it, and so he just goes, Some god you are. And then Thor's like, You know nothing of being a god. And again, it reminds me of Kenobi, where it's just like, God, there's a, there's a so pamphlet everyone this? gets this dialogue from, yeah. isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he says, You went to the gods for help, and they ignored you. We're alike in that sense. Which, um... 
Okay, that's a fine line, you know, but I just wonder how he knew that. Uh, it's, it's, a it's good question. Um, and then that triggers the fuck out of Valkyrie, and she's like, he's nothing like you. And I almost want to be like, actually, in, on behalf of Christian Bale, he'd be like, he said in that sense, okay? Just that <laughs> sense, which is true, actually. They both got rejected by their respective gods at the time for the thing they wanted, all right? Chill out. You almost want yeah. his character to be like, no, but, but that's not what I said. Look, no, you need to listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, because he's like, I'm not saying he's like me. I'm saying there's just that one aspect, okay? And we've just both had a shared experience, not that we're like similar people. <laughs> don't have to listen, be so please. Rude about it. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, it'd be great if Gore you know, just looks at the cat, if looks at Valkyrie and says, "Choo choo, here comes the bad faith train." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but he says, "You know what? You're right. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm truly creating peace," implying that he's not he's like creating. Thor because Thor is. Falsely pretending to create peace, meanwhile he actually is by killing people's gods. Really weird, because uh, all we've seen so far is he killed a very nice, friendly, big god, and then another one that caused a whole planet to descend into chaos. Mm -hmm. so, good, good job. You know, this isn't uh, like Thanos, where he tells us, I did this thing to a planet, and they flourished instead of dying out where mine did, and I'm going to do this plan for everybody. You're like, oh, he's crazy, but, uh, uh, you know, okay. He saw a result that, that motivated him to do this. Gore, on the other hand, is like, I'm bringing peace, literally causing wars. Yeah. So. It's, Gore is, unfortunately, a really shit villain, and he mm -hmm. could have been one of the really nifty, interesting ones. Yeah, I never want that to take away from Christian Bale's performance. It's the writing. He did his yeah, best the he writing. could. Yeah. The guy came in, and he's he's old guard, okay? He knows what acting is. And he's he's just like, what is this goofy bullshit? I guess I'll read it. As well as I can. That's what he did. He did, for sure, yeah. Uh yeah, and then and then Valkyrie's like, You're murdering innocent gods. And he's like, Innocent <laughs> And 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 it's kinda like, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like Yeah, I mean they seem that's to like, be that's like yeah, the whole but... question. And I think at this point you're like, We've made it. We're like seconds away now from having that question finally answered from Gore. How do you reconcile killing gods that are good people, and in ways that make their people suffer more? But he deflects. He says, are you Valkyrie? And it's like, no, 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 the and question. Go, go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> like, no. And he says, ah, yes, you, you, your, uh, your, your friends or sisters or whatever got killed because the gods failed you. And then she starts crying. And then he says, good talk. Pushes well, her out of here. See ya. Bye -bye. What even is this? First, like, I, yeah. I hate to make this argument, but I had to do it for Daenerys. That's not Valkyrie. She wouldn't cry when he says your sisters got killed and your gods didn't do anything for you. She'd be you like, fuck hungry. you. Yeah. yeah. Valkyrie's one of the smuggest characters in, like, all of the MCU. She wouldn't take that shit. She's really even, bloodthirsty yeah. as well. Yeah. She'd be angry. She wouldn't just cry. Like, what the fuck? Um. Also, this is this is where I don't know why, but he says, ah, "How exciting!" Uh, Gore, and he's it's like, oh. now. yeah, he's... and you start getting Joker vibes, not not yeah. the Joker you want vibes. The Jared Leto Joker, that vibes. joke. Oh no, <laughs> oh. not him. He's an Bad idea. Touch. And it's like, oh, I don't want you to do that. Gore is an idea. He should yeah. have a tattoo saying dead daughter on his forehead. This no. <laughs> <laughs> is poorly written on his forehead. Poorly written. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, then, and then he walks up to Jane. He's like, oh, you're different because you're dying. And I'm dying too. The sword empowered me, but it's killing me. The hammer empowered you, but it's killing you. The gods will use us, but they won't help you. There is no eternal reward for us. And then he pushes her away again, and I'm just like, what What are we doing? Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Like, like the gods won't help you, referring to, to Jane? It's like, all they've... I mean, all you can see is they gave her superpowers temporarily, I don't know. I was literally trying point, to help her, I don't know. I'm wondering how Gorg is getting all this information. Is he just reading the minds The sword, now? I guess? Is what he can do? Yeah, sword, power... Some people are saying thing. the sword knows everything. <laughs> it's just like, okay, whatever. Cool. Fine. If you wow. say so. 
add it to the pile of things we're just adding. The sword. Fine. That's what it do. Omni omni yeah. Omniscient sword. Omnipus sword. What a um, cool name. Omniscient sword, I think. Because omniscient is all-knowing, right? Or I'm getting it the wrong way around. You're correct. You are correct. Um, oh, I must be omniscient. Yeah. Oh, so he then starts strangling Jane. And and uh, all I can help, but I'm just like, didn't you guys escape from this with your thunder powers before? Okay, it's fine. Got you now. And so, out of desperation, Thor calls Stormbreaker, and he quakes the whole like planet. And then it like it's again, it's so jarringly done that the film just decides now it's time for a boss fight. It's like, yep. well, no, Gore will just tie them all up and take Stormbreaker, right? And it's like, no, boss fight. No, we 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 did the tentacles now. We can't do those again. Just oh, okay then. Um, yeah. And so they start okay. fighting. And this is kind of what it, this it is probably will. one of the basic and most clear ways of representing like how you require understanding power levels for anything to actually matter in any way. He fights them all in like one v ones until Thor annoy like is about to annoy him with an attack, and so he just wraps him up in vines. Like why aren't you doing that all the time? I don't understand. Really useful. Fucking weird. Um, so, again, good news but bad news, everybody. Um, Valkyrie, mm. it looks like she's about to die. She gets stabbed with a thunderbolt, and it's like, <gasps> and then it's like, no, we got to get her out of here to make sure she doesn't die. And it's like, oh. Uh, mm. And um, you know, it was another character I would have been perfectly fine to die as well. I was like, hey, you know, she's not that consequential in the larger MCU narrative. It could add certain dramatic tension if she has a sacrifice of some type. But no, they they won't. No, they can't commit to anything. And so, oh, I, I guess we've glossed over, but this fight looks shit. Yeah, the animation specifically. The animation, yeah. Is fucking it's awful. a shame because stylistically, it could have been really cool it looking. It could be cool, yeah, but it Thor has a really cool. neat looking kind of like he like he summons these creepy looking monsters from the darkness, and the monsters themselves are really really dark, and especially on the moon, it has this cool black and Wait, white really quality to it, um, hmm. which is. But the problem is that everything moves so poorly, um, mm. and also just like nothing looks tangible at all. It looks really bad because they probably only had what? Yeah, three it looks like they're inside a computer. Bad. Like it almost like that's the narrative. They got sucked inside yeah. a digital world or something. Yeah, like when Homer got transported to yeah. the 3D, world, you know. Spy Kids, Love and Thunder. Hell yeah, <laughs> Spy Kids. They wish they could be Spy Kids levels. Uh, so... Have you guys seen that, that article that went around where they talked about that Reddit thread from, uh, I don't know, slash VFX or something? Where people were talking about the experiences of taking yeah. projects from Disney yeah. and they were like, well, they're like the worst customers to have because they yeah, always want... kind of going around, yeah. Always want shit in like three weeks and they change stuff and it's impossible to finish in time. It's mm -hmm. like a horrible working environment every time we take projects from them. I think the more and more we saw shitty effects, the more and more people kept reminding everyone that you shouldn't be aiming this at the artists. Yeah. And then the more and more it became clear, like, man, the artists actually probably live in hell, don't they? And then some artists were like, actually, yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, there much. you go. Uh, yeah, so uh, they decide... That they absolutely have to save the children, but that because Valkyrie's injured, they best leave um, so that they can get her some help, and they have no idea where the kids are. And at this point, I was just like, mechanically, can't um, Heimdall, or sorry, Axel, uh, mm -hmm. use whatever to, to let Thor know where they are, or no? I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know where they are. I mean, I guess he could. I don't even know what's happening before. anymore. Like, exactly. this is the point where you're hey. just like, what, like we, what's even going on? We were here for yeah. the children, right? And then, like, but now it feels like we, we don't even know what's going on anymore, and we're just going to leave. <laughs> it's like, it's like okay. this is a reset moment for the movie. Like, we're, we're taking a break now. But Oh, yeah. definitely, I, yeah. I, uh, Get that vibe. Which is, the act structure is odd, because... Yeah, so, uh, to, to end the scene, right, they, they Bifrost out, but Gore managed to grab Stormbreaker as they're exiting and take it off Thor. So they all go back to Earth, but they Fucking lost Stormbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, man, it's just, this is how you do this. Oh, we need I mean, them to get the fucking Bifrost it's so, somehow. Uh, just grab it when they teleport out and work uh, immediately. You, like, you would think oh. if he's... 
if, if he's reaching into the Bifrost as it's teleporting, he would just get sucked into the Bifrost with it and nope. be teleporting yeah. with him. Nope, that's not how it works. He he's 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 using shadow powers to stay attached oh. to the shadow planet. Shad, okay. <gasps> I thought you were going to say Shad Powers, and I was like, well, I, I, perhaps, you know. <laughs> Maybe. That, 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 that could work. very powerful. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so they all end up porting back to Earth, and at that moment, you should realize, like, so now he has everything he needs, the thing to teleport to Eternity, the thing to open up Eternity, and his goal is to kill all gods, so that would include Thor, which means you're on a clock, we need to get going. We do not get going. We're, uh, we're no, going to settle down no. for a bit. We're going to chill out now. Before we have our final battle, so everyone's sad because Valkyrie's been stabbed. Natalie Portman's feeling feeling that stage four is catching up. She's coughing a lot, looking pale, and uh, and Thor's sad also. And we we they show her like gradually trying to grab the the hammer, and she can't quite do it. And then we cut to Thor getting like an explanation from her doctor as to how she is doing. I remember immediately being like, oh my fucking god, you can't be serious. That means that you took her to the hospital. You laid her down, they got all their things, they took tests, they did bloods, they did whatever they did. And then you yeah. waited for the results, and then the doctor turned up and said, uh, Thor? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the, these are the results. Meanwhile, Gore should have just ended the whole world by now, really. Exactly, or, yeah, it's it pretty much. all over. I, I was like this with um, Doctor Strange as yeah. well, when... Uh, when Fingo gets everything she needs, she has America Chavez, and then suddenly it's taking unbelievable lengths of time for her to do what she needs to do. And same here. It's just like, at this point, there's no stakes. You know that, oh, so it's just going to be stretched out to whatever length is needed to for the plot. They don't actually care about setting up rules and then making themselves adhere to them at all. It's just, these are, this is the moment where you need to, you get, you need to be really... You need to be in a rush. You need to be urgently doing things and trying to do stuff because at any moment you could all just basically disappear yep. because you don't know how long this stuff takes. And they're just like, how are you? How how are you feeling? How how are things? You, you doing okay? And like, no, motherfucker, you have things to do. You need to be in a rush. You need to be moving faster now than ever before in your life. And there may be people in the audience who are following closely and they're like, yeah, well, he doesn't have Stormbreaker, so how's he going to get there? Well... Uh -huh. Uh, uh. We still have Valkyrie's fucking horse that can do it. Um, but Pegasus, please. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't. Isn't Pegasus is is, is that a species or the actual name of the creature? Well, a, a, a bit of both. I think it started as a name, but then it became a species when it was adapted into other fantasies. Because I didn't want to offend. Like I didn't want to offend a... Pegasus by referring to this thing as Pegasus. Yeah, yeah you. Fucking piece of shit. Well, in this, is he, uh... Because I guess all the Valkyries have him, right? Or they did. Or they fucking died. They did. Did all the horses die, too? That's weird that all the horses died, too. <laughs> getting getting mixed weird. results. Some people are saying species, some people are saying name. Name. It's like Shadowfax? That will be... Well, Shadowfax... Is yeah, it's a singular individual. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the only issue I was taking. I didn't want to call it Pegasus if Pegasus is only a individual. The winged horse. Yeah. Well, anyway, you got that, but you also find out that the thunderbolt can insta teleport you anywhere you want. Yeah. Um. And it seems to be a specific thing the thunderbolt can do because it has its own little animation thing and everything <laughs> and charge up. So it's Guarantee not like it's you. using the. It's that not using the bike for us. Yeah, yeah. Guarantee you that thing didn't even do that until they got to that point in the script. And oh, he was no, like, uh, the Thunderbolt could do it. I don't know. Because, I don't know, maybe he could have used the bike for us or something. Maybe make that a thing Thor can do and not, uh, I don't know, the weapons. Uh, but no, the Thunderbolt fun. is just like... Blah, 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 blah. And yeah. also Thor knows how to use it as well. So, good, good job. We just, we have to get there, I guess. So, the Thunderbolt can do that now. Correct. Just question: Do you think it's uh, consistent if Thor would be able to just summon um, uh, Stormbreaker through the Bifrost, no matter where it is in the universe, and you just call it back to him? I assume it the, it would uh, still have to travel to him. It still have to have a way to get. Well, to yeah, him, but right? if I'm assuming what Shad's highlighting is the second he starts calling it, Gore's fucked. Oh, oh yeah, like it's that's actually a good point. Hands. Yeah. 
Um, I guess because Gore's hanging on to Maybe. it. Maybe. That would be interesting. To call it. Travel through the Bifrost so that it, he can call it from anywhere. Where, like, so... Well, yeah, but Unless so if they're Gore trying is... to say there's a there's a range that if it's too far away, suddenly the signal the Wi-Fi can't reach gives it out. You know? all I, mean, it's I don't know what this movie's trying to tell me. I uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, but like the... this movie's trying to tell me not to pay attention to it. Genuinely, I think that the tiger would be like, well, no, Gore's hanging on to it, so Thor can't call it while another person's hanging on to it. That's just a rule now. Hey, that oh. could be a funny joke. He he he. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, Shad. That's the answer. Okay. We're we're almost <laughs> to the bit, all right. We're almost there. Yeah, I tell you? the big okay. bit. But I'm I'm so excited that there's several people in chat who don't even know about the bit. Uh, oh, they're one of the sixty eight percent. So, uh, where are we? Yeah. So the doctor says we have such a fucking Revenge of the Sith moment here. The doctor's like, you know, she should be fighting the cancer, but she just isn't. The thing, yeah. the stuff needed to fight the cancer is just, it's its like it's not, it's like it's doing something else, you know? Something's pretending. It's a honestly bizarre comment from the Doctor. It's like, Preventive. what even are you saying? But we know that what she's trying to say is that by using the hammer, by being Mighty Thor, it's its making it so she can't fight the cancer. It's like, oh, Because that's okay. how that works. That's how that works, yeah. Mm, Which, that's um, that works. So that's like in concrete now, medically, and Thor even says that to her. He says the hammer's literally draining your strength, and you need that to, to live. And so how in the world could that possibly be Mjolnir's interpretation of protection? Yeah. <laughs> You're killing her. Like, what? I know that this has kind of been gone over before, but it's just, it was, it was always going to be tough to justify her having the hammer, and they went with this really stupid thing where Thor was like, Hey, Hammer, protect my friend over there. And so we're all sitting here like, that's so dumb. But okay. And then it's literally killing her. And you're like, you know what? You didn't <laughs> even try. You're just making this shit up, but you just, you just don't know what's going on. <sighs> I don't, I don't get it. Uh, and you know what? If the Hammer was like desperate to provide someone power, then just dude, give it to Rhodey. He's around. You know, yeah, and and he, well, he yeah. won't die. <laughs> like, you, you give it. To, there's a lot of nice people. Give it to Valkyrie. And, and then they could, and then that could also fulfill the thing of protecting Jane, because by giving the power to someone who can handle it for the purpose of protecting Jane, it's achieving that purpose as well. Would the person know that they had to protect Jane if Mjolnir went to that person? Mm, good question. Oh, Thor can let him know. Thor will add a little note next. Yeah. We'll post it on the hammer. Yeah. Oh, nice. Like a pigeon, he'll just tie a little <laughs> note around the... Can the pigeon yeah. use a bifrost? Why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? If it's a magic pigeon, fuck it. It's, if it's the god of pigeons, then it can do it. Um. So yeah, then we, then we get our big realization. We gotta, get, we gotta have character realizations. And she's like, look, I know I'm like a cool astrophysicist, but look at me. I want to keep fighting. I'm Mighty Thor, and you want me to not do that? What would be the point of more of this? Referring, of course, to her just being in a bed, fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and he says, because I love you, and if you pick up that hammer, that is gone. Like, aww. Remember when she just disappeared from the whole the series? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and she's only back people... for this one... Well, yeah, we'll get there. Uh... I think that's already been mentioned, but that's fine. We're, we're, we're almost to that point. So, yeah, basically, if you use the hammer, you'll die. I don't want you to die. Okay, bye, I'm gonna go fight the boss. And it's very much a, like, oh, so will she make that decision? Will she die in order to fight? And again, it's just like, why does she gotta be the one? Why can't... You know what, why isn't he taking Mjolnir with him? Yeah, double his, double his power. It's a power um, focus, yeah. or, or, that's what we're told. Yeah. Give the Mjolnir to someone else who could be worthy. Hey, where's Captain America or any of the other Avengers that might be in this situation? Imagine, because we now know you can power up basically anybody you want. And... Oh, yeah, we're getting to that as well, because that's Oh, I was, problem, I, but... I, I was actually referring to him just casting that stupid spell, you know, yeah. as in... Okay, yes, yeah, so we'll focus on Mjolnir. Yeah, yeah. Now, yes. <laughs> so, 
all he does, like, if if he literally called Rhodey and he's just like, are you cool with me empowering you with full power to go and save the universe? Quote unquote. It's not quite that, but it's kind of like that. He'd probably be like, yeah, sure, I guess. Like, fuck yeah. yeah I'll, I'll help you save the world. Iron I, that seems Thor, like the right thing to do. Or War like Thor, call. Thor Machine. You're crippled Thor. <laughs> Thor Machine. <laughs> You're crippled Thor. Really... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a, a really fun way to start like a an MCU movie is another character is already deep into it and then the title character just gets a call like, Hey, can you help with the thing? Please, I'm and then they have to go into like that could be fun. That could be a really fun way. Like they, they start oh, yeah. like they have to be introduced to a plot that they are not yet familiar with and they get thrown in at the deep end. Imagine like like a Doctor Strange movie, because they only ever made one, where it's like they fight into like a <laughs> tentacle monster and then in portals in like friends, like a Wong, and then you're like, hey Wong, you should portal in some more people, and then they never do at any point in the entire movie, even when fighting the greatest threat of all time in all space. <laughs> I'm talking in perspective of a character who gets portaled in, like, you know, you open, you open with a scene of just like, yeah, I, I don't know. know, Thor having his lunch. And then uh, the uh, Doctor Strange opens a portal like, Thor, uh, we... we got a dire situation here and we really need your help. You know what? Like, Fuck, okay. You know what you made me think of was Hot Fuzz, the equivalent Thor's having an ice cream, and they're like, come down, and he goes, okay, <laughs> and he goes, ah, oh, brain freeze. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess a god wouldn't have brain freeze, I don't know, it would it just- Even yeah. the mighty Thor gets brain freeze. Um, so yeah, that's all set. We'll, 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 he, he starts strolling on outside, sees Valkyrie, and she's like, I've been stabbed, I will not come. Like, okay. Yeah, I, I, I find it hard to come when I'm stabbed. Because <laughs> stabbing what? in this, isn't that... Did we, did we talk about how, um... Get, maybe I had one of those weird brain fart moments, but did we talk about how Gore gets stabbed by the Thunderbolt? And we didn't talk about happens? that. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's no point talking about it because the film doesn't care. Uh, he gets stabbed. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess yeah. it's it's weird that it happens, but just so we're clear, uh, on the fight on the moon, um, the, uh, Gore gets stabbed through the back... With Zeus's thunderbolt. Yep. And and then that comes goes that. nowhere. <laughs> no, nothing happens. We yeah. just, we just see him again later, and he's just doing his stuff. It that it's literally inconsequential that he gets stabbed with Zeus's thunderbolt when that was the thing that killed Zeus supposedly. <laughs> but it, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> It was so He's inconsequential, going... I forgot it happened. I, I, uh, yeah. I was thinking about mentioning it, but I was like, all I'm going to say is that nothing comes of it. And then I just feel like, well, but I guess that's that's a good enough reason to mention it, how it means nothing. <laughs> yeah. You'd think that would be the kill shot, but no, no it's not no. enough. And he's just fine. He mm -hmm. just seems to be very momentarily well, inconvenienced by that. We have seen a grand total now of three, so we've got Gore, Zeus, and Valkyrie all stabbed by the Thunderbolt. All three of them are fine. So maybe it doesn't hurt people. Yeah, maybe it's just shit. Maybe it's a healing stab. Oh, what it so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bolt of healing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, then they do a really funny joke where she's like, do you remember where the center of the universe is? And he's like, I know. As if, like, how could you forget? I don't know if Fringy wanted to have his thing about the center of the universe or not. No, we. Do. I thought we talked about it last. Last. I don't yeah, remember. Was we, that last? We know time? how. Yeah. yeah. I think we we touched on that the nature of center in the universe is like oh. it's kind of doesn't really follow. Yeah. I guess, well, so like Thor would know. Center is He's more an relative. Asgardian. Um, what if it was just the center of the galaxy or something like that, you know? Uh, that's a lot more easily delineated, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the problem is the point of reference, like, in, in the whole universe is like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, it's Ima kind of imagine he was like, Asgard, that's the center. And she's like, yeah. I, <laughs> of course, it's, yeah. It's just, I don't know. And especially as well, like, the, if you're gonna if you're gonna decide that there is a center, like... You're only going to get to do that once, you know? Like, if you're going to commit to having oh, yeah. something be at the center of the universe, you only get to do that once. Well, uh, do you think your writers it's a cool who are thing making their own no. projects, they're like, I can't believe fucking Taika that piece of, just that yeah. piece of shit <laughs> took the center of the universe. Like, God damn like, it, now I gotta... <laughs> Fringy, I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. Like, they put a yeah. really cool thing to be at the center of the universe, and it doesn't really get treated with the... Um, Any respect that it deserves, respect. or the yeah. gravitas, yeah, or... It's not. just, oh, well, I guess we... Oh, we're here now, here's the thing. Like... From okay. Yeah. From what I understand, eternity is like quite important in the comics. That's um, what I hear. Yeah, there's a thing. 
um, and it doesn't really amount to much at all in the MCU, I guess, and never will. Presumably. Just another device. Just oh, we need this at the end. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's just the thing but that just gives you a fucking like, wish, the most powerful thing you could possibly ever do. But that's fine. It's whatever. Take it. Take it. I, I genuinely feel there might have been a moment where Taika was like, "Okay, we need something really powerful to go for use." Uh, okay, wiki comics fandom page. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this will do it. Or you had a friend who actually like knows that. the comics and was like, it would be really cool to throw in Eternity. And then Tiger's like, what's that? And he's like, it's just like a thing that you could do that. Okay. I'll do it. You show me a picture of it. <laughs> and they like do a little, <laughs> little doodle. And it's like, yeah. You gotta, because like, comic fans at this point, like it's not, back in phase one and two, there would be comic fans that have to like, talk about how much is being missed out, how much is being skipped, how much is like, not being adapted properly. But there would be a... Um, a back and forth is like a little bit more interesting because they'd be like, well, these films are still, you know, they are at ad they're, they're adaptations as we would like them to exist, where they move pieces around and they do this, that, and the other to create a, you know, movie equivalent pacing and stuff. But these days, you know, if if comic fans used to have like a meal that had bits wrong with it back in the day, now they're just like at the bottom of a basement and every once in a while a marble drops in. Like, what, what is well, this? It's, it's like that's like your at food. This point, it's a lot more because I think um, in Multiverse of Madness, when they were traveling through all the multiverses, there was uh, like a bunch of statues or something, and they're, they're like something really important too in the comics, but you see them for like two seconds. They'll Dude, put them in there. Movie like Bob was but... tweeting about the, the statues in the place Gore is at, in Eternity, and he was talking about what they all mean. I was like, the fucking yeah. makers of this film do not give a fuck. They, 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 no, like, they probably picked up a comic book and they're like, oh, it'd be cool to, like, have the imagery. And it's like, yeah, what about the substance? It's like, oh, who gives a shit? It's a dumb comic book uh, stuff. Yeah. Idiot. Living Tribunal, that was the thing. Yeah. Shows up yeah. for, like, two seconds. Apparently they're really important, too. But, oh, like, boy. <laughs> but nobody cares. <sighs> um. So, yeah, he, he tells us off, and I guess now we're in the third act? Yeah. But this, yeah. this is a very short third act. <laughs> like it's uh, yeah, it's it's just it is yeah. Because the moon it's fight because, really over. felt like the end. It's a really weird film in terms of how it's paced, like I said. But yeah, so Gore arrived and then set up Stormbreaker, and Thor is like a minute behind him. Like yeah, nah, actually no, that's not how that would work. Yeah, uh, from what you've shown us. But fine, whatever. Uh, he starts. I'm just trying to think what's their plan at this point because they just already fought Gore um, with three of them mm -hmm. and didn't win. And so Thor is like, I'll just fight him again on they my own. Yeah, enough. but this time he yeah. really, really wants to win. He really wants to. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try it again. Well, no, I don't know how seriously you guys take this, but it kind of annoys me. Um, Gore has all the children with him still. And you know, at this point, you don't even know why. It's like, why, why? Yeah, they, like the trap is them. done, the bait is done, you got what you want, why are they here? And you can make them, you can send your shadow creatures to take them wherever you want. Why are they here? And he starts setting up the key, and when he's doing it, it starts making the place rumble, and a huge piece of debris is about to fall on them, and they're all screaming, and Gore doesn't care. <laughs> and it's just yeah. like, man. Why did you bring him here then? You couldn't have had it be that. Gore legit hated the gods specifically, and that he would absolutely not want any harm to come to the kids. You couldn't have written him that way, could you? You could just—he's just, he's just like, a standard he just shit. He'd be. Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's just a—he's just a crappy bad guy where he's just like, "Haha, harm is coming to innocent people." Yes, I like that because I'm bad. Hmm. Yeah, you—you um, you know what you could have had? You could have had like a a conversation where he in the previous fight as well. Wouldn't it be cool if he was like, "Hey." Uh, Valkyrie, uh, Jane, why are you associating with this god fucker? You know what gods are like. You, you, you guys could, you guys still, still hope for you guys. You guys can just leave and uh, fight against. Oh yeah, me, like you, know? you could offer them to, you could offer their lives basically, like leave and I'll spare you, sort of thing. But you know, we also even even appealing to like a moral thing, like hey, you know, you don't have to get wrapped up in this, right? You're not, you, you're better than this. You're better than the gods. Yeah. Something. There's also. Yeah, there's also, you know, good reason for Gore to actually care about children, and it would have made sense if he actually released the kids back to Thor after they served their purpose. Uh, because, you know, he the whole reason that sent him on this thing was his, his daughter's death and that the god didn't help him and things. But there's no yeah, my daughter's there, fucking... there's no multiple sides to this character now. He's just no. Nah, and the, the response you get a side. The response you get for people is you he's corrupted. No, there is an A side. Corrupted, bro. Oh, that's so interesting. 
Please tell me more. <laughs> what does that mean? It's like he just does uh, stuff. So, but but that means yeah. the sword isn't wholly determined on killing, you know, the gods. It wants to kill everything. Kids yeah, included. It, it, it's just making the sword is just an evil. asshole. What? Yeah, so it's just like, a dick. It's yeah, the sword has sword. no true motive. Yeah, it's just evil blanket. Is okay. So. That debris falls, Thor catches it, and he's like, I got you kids, you're all right. And and, and so you're thinking to yourself now, ah, oh, so he's going to teleport the kids out. No. <laughs> no, he won't, because... <laughs> oh, shit, here we go! Yeah, this is it. Woo! By the way, just want to remind everybody, these are children from ages like 5 to 10. That seems to be the age range, something like that. Um, yeah, well, maybe, maybe 5 to 12, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but they're, they're very young is my they're point. They're around probably 12 or so. Yeah, uh, well, there's some that are really young. Uh, like, like I don't even know if they can speak yet. It's it's a little worrying because of what he decides to do. He, he, like I said, he has the power to teleport them all out. He won't. Because nope. he, he knows that Gore is going to start generating shadow monsters. And so you, you obviously, like Thor, think to yourself, how can I weaponize the children to my advantage? No. <laughs> can I weaponize no. the children? Um, Spoken like a true Taliban. <laughs> and I mean, here we are. This is the bit. So Thor decides yeah. to provide the power of Thor to everyone uh, here. Yeah. Like that's yeah. a that's, um, that's... decision that he just makes. I have multiple issues with this. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> really? 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 Yeah. <laughs> There's so many problems. There's layers of issues. It's just, yeah. oh, oh, wow. We this, might want to say it again. It breaks so much. I feel like people really won't believe this if they haven't seen this film. Uh, there's no, there's no, like, you might be expecting a caveat. There actually is one, but it's not the kind you'd expect. Or he's like, Casting some kind of Thor spell, and it makes it so he can just provide the power of Thor and imbue whatever object you're holding with the power of Mjolnir, essentially, to any amount of people he wants for as long as he wants. That is what they establish in this scene. Yep. Mm. And, they, and they don't need a, like a weapon that triggers the power or focuses the power like Mjolnir. It can just be granted arbitrarily. Uh, it's the power of Thor specifically, not the power of Zeus's thunderbolt. So it's not actually necessary upon the thunderbolt, even though he's I like think talking that'd be to shit the thunderbolt too. as he does it. Yeah, that would be garbage. Um, he can just literally grant people insane powers. It doesn't half his power or divide his power to give the power um, to them. He's just as strong. It's, it's like. There's, it's hard to actually be clear on how many problems this creates, because I think everyone's mind first goes to all the people we've tried to defeat in the past, right? It's like, yeah, that's oh, true, yeah. of course. But this has the same problem I find with the, uh, the, the flower juice stuff in Wakanda, where it's like, you know that your power makes it so that people become hyper-durable. They're essentially gods, right? So do you know how many li like? I, my brain immediately is thinking about, like, you know, like, Agent Coulson, where he's, like, bleeding out in Avengers. It's like, so you could have just saved him. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Just made him Thor. So, so, question, do you think that Wakanda process, do you think that would cure cancer as well? I'm just wondering. Well, so that's actually, Maybe. yeah, there's a whole list of things to go through, but one of them is, like, so she can't be Thor because the, pa the hammer's drawing the strength from her, but you can just provide the power of Thor to anybody free of charge. Why don't you just do he that for her? her? Die. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you just give her the power of Thor then? What? And this is the stuff I really don't get, because Taika likes to undercut, sure, but this is such a level of undercutting that, like, the entire drama, the biggest payoff in this movie, is now fucked by a different big payoff in this movie. Did you notice? I don't think this was on purpose. I don't think... I, don't, I think this was an apathy decision, if I had to make a guess. I don't really care. Yeah, because it just fucks everything up. It's really meaningful, quote-unquote, that she would choose uh -huh. to fight when she knows it's going to kill her. But that doesn't mean shit if you can just give Thor powers to anybody at any time. Free of charge. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. No. Yeah, no cancer killer required. It's, as, um, it's so bad. As Zekrofan I mean... just said, it ruins literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> This... Imagine having the the end game army and just give all of them Thor powers. 
so this is the thing. Someone, I think the Endgame one is the first reference, but just like every yeah. single time Thor every has been in time. any kind of fight yeah. with anybody, and every time he hasn't been, because he can give it, and then they can fight later. Yeah. What he what says when casting this is that like they have the power of Thor for a limited time only. Like the yeah. joke yeah. being, he wouldn't want anyone because he's vain, right? Remember how vain he is. He wouldn't want anybody to have his power for longer than just one fight. <sighs> no. Well, I mean, I I took that as it being like, oh, these are kids. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I, I'm not going to give the film that benefit of the no. doubt when he's dragging the kids Me into neither. the fucking fight. That's absurd. It, well, it's trying to imply that these are the only people he has available to grant the powers, so he'll do it temporarily. But no, if you could have done it, why not the parents? Why not anyone you know in the film previously? Um, okay, Shad. But what about the I, fact I, that if you're worried about like collateral damage with the kids, this that's still in this fight right now. What if they fucking hit each other? Remember, so, one of them yeah, detonates a laser true. that exactly, like yeah. spreads around the whole room, but luckily doesn't hit any of your friends. All the kids of Ix. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what um, I'm saying. Like, if that's what he cared yeah. about, I actually think I, I'm more convinced that Tiger's doing the uh, characterization that he's like, I'm going to give you all Thor power, but you're not going to have it for very long. Okay, I'm Thor. Mm -hmm. I think it's, that's what he's doing. Mm, yeah. I, so, I, I I genuinely don't have that. I, I I've never got that read from it. I think it's supposed to be like. I think it's supposed to be him being responsible. I think, I think that's what they think so. is going on. I, I think it's because of the fact that that makes more sense to you. But if you look at the way everything's been written in this film, I think it lines up that that was the intention. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm actually with Jay on this one. I thought it was them say. trying to portray that he yeah, is somewhat responsible. But I certainly get your reading as well, Bull, because it's not responsible. It's like handing in a, you know an AK-47 <laughs> to a kid when they're trying to rescue him, saying, hey, "Come fight and me, body bro. armor, Shad." Oh, and body armor, yes, of course. So, people do, who would try and defend it, I, I believe, would try and say, oh, Thor only learned how to do this recently. <laughs> you know, he, he, uh, like, uh, like okay. there was in Ragnarok where he started to get the powers of Odin more, where he realized he didn't need the hammer, Why and Odin, Odin established Odin Why had kind Odin? of sub. But exactly, then, yes. Why didn't Odin do it? And st things are still broken, because... Why didn't Thor do it just earlier on in the film then? Um, there were multiple times he could have done it instead of just giving it to the kids. Uh, everything's still broken. Uh, and I was going to say, don't... I have seen defenses of this film. I have not seen anyone try to defend this. <laughs> I've not seen anyone talk about this. Oh, the film, the film, <laughs> dude, the film yeah. is out of... If we had to make three parts talking about this film, I would be like, but nobody's going to remember that Thor had a third movie. Four. See? See? <laughs> I'm already See? forgetting <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's 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 out of the zeitgeist already. What is currently in the zeitgeist? I guess it's the Resident Evil show. That's what I was talking about now. All right, yeah. But that'll be gone. Sucks. That'll be gone oh, yeah. soon enough as well. Yeah. And they will ha they will ignore it going forward. Like like any future thing, there's going to be a question. Hey Thor, just give someone pa extra powers to help you out. And you know that they're so incompetent, they're just going to pretend it doesn't exist going forward. Oh, of course. Do I Way think that it's 100% true that he will never reference this again, or if it'll nope. be like, uh, at most, JJ's thing in um, Rise of Skywalker. Like, Thor, why don't you imbue us all with the power of Thor? He's like, oh, that was a one-time deal. Yeah, or, or it'll uh, be, you're not as guardians, you wouldn't be able to bear the, 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 the energies and whatnot. Well, they something. explicitly say they're not as guardian in this scene, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right, there's, there's normal... Oh, you know what, it'll be... It. Oh, that was a power that's only possible in the centre of the universe. That's, you know, that's, that's why I was... <laughs> Yes, Fuck the you. <laughs> universe is making my powers. It's a conduit for this, so the magic. So we have to, and, and, we have to uh, teleport everyone to the center of the universe for fights. Then, all right, that's what we have to do. All right, then I guess let's do it. Yes, because uh, seriously, if you the universe get destroyed, if you write Thor five, and Tiger's like just giving you a couple bits and bobs of just saying like, oh yeah, you know this, other, and then you're just like, dude, why did you write this? And he's like, <laughs> well, yeah, that was, that was funny, right? It's like, yeah. no. <laughs> And then he's like, oh, what was my box office numbers? And you're like, yeah, that's funny, but, I mean, stories, man, I don't know. So, well, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there, I gotta get ready to head on out, so that's all I can stay for today, and I'll, uh, I'll have to... I'm glad we got you that do? bit See you later. done before yeah. you left. There you go. That's, all right. Yes. Yeah, that's the big one. Catch you so around, Mr. Will... Rags. Gotcha, dude. Yep, I will be back later. Uh, probably not today, though. I'll be busy, but I'll, I'll see y'all later. Too late. Bye, bye. Boy. Boy. Bye. Yeah. Um, well, you, I don't. I, I don't even care that they have Thor powers. They're still like tiny children. Like they shouldn't exactly, be yeah. able to beat them at all. 
Like, like none this of whole fucking thing is crazy. None of them, not, not a single one of them, is like scared after they get the powers. And anyone's like, "Oh no, I have powers now." Fuck also yeah, know how to use lightning. them. They all know how Look, to the use way, them really well. I, yeah, the, the, I think the, the Axel guy, like, he just does a fucking huge ass electro wave and kills like thirty of them at once. Yeah, they're all, <laughs> they're like, all screaming they're all and charging in, and it's it's like, yeah, the kids all love this, right? And I really, I think we had this conversation when we were talking about it before, like off stream. It's like you've, uh, Tiger's forgotten, most kids when they just see one superhero doing awesome things as an adult, like, they picture themselves out, they don't need to see literal children becoming mm -hmm. the heroes, that's not necessary at all. But that's like the only thing I can think of for why he made this scene this way. Yeah. So weird, because it's just like, no, nobody cares, like, what do you think is more badass to, like, a child aspiring to be a hero? Seeing him in Ragnarok attack that whole bridge full of... Like demons with it without his hammer just full-on thundered up versus this where like loads of screaming children one of them with a teddy bear is just killing everything or it's almost just like what the fuck's happening yeah well i mean actually, this no is the idea. thing i i think this scene actually worked for some people i think my kids particularly liked it my wife <laughs> enjoyed it and, Fair enough. and this is the thing though oh, you could Chad, try you're gonna and have to go find a new family <laughs> oh, no, 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 like, because no, there, there are things that people can enjoy that aren't set up properly or make sense and still break narrative. And so if you really wanted to get this type of payoff, you'd want to approach it more responsibly, more, more intelligently. Like, all right, how could we get this interesting, fun, quirky scene that has kids suddenly having powers and, and going ballistic uh, to get the payoff that some people might enjoy? but also make it work narratively. And what I would do then is then write backwards to try and set it up properly to make sure, okay, we could it would naturally lead to this conclusion that in that spot, this is one of the best things that you can do based on the pre-established rules that you've already worked with. Um, and then also do it in such a way that doesn't break the larger narrative and story of the universe. I am with you. I, uh... Setting stuff up properly, that, Shan, that's crazy. Yeah. I know, right? I'll get you. Revolutionary. You take that right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the the children and the shadow creatures battle. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. While Thor goes and attacks Gore, and it's like, I don't know, man. Thor, if you're willing to have them attack these giant, horrible creatures, you may as well take like three or four kids with you to fight Gore, because. I don't know, yeah. like, you can't beat him on your own, and you've got a whole army of Thors now, and you're willing to kill them, or have them fight to the death with things, so yeah, fuck it, just bring them all, whatever. Um, they fight, Thor loses. And it's really weird, because Thor is, like, taking punches, and then it cuts back to, uh, Natalie Portman in hospital going, eh, oh, as if she's, like, experiencing the hits. Mm-hmm. Which is, Why? like, I don't have any clue as to why that's happening. Anyone? Uh, lo love and thunder. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, like obviously, narratively speaking, it's supposed to be like you see, she's she has to make that choice. Is she gonna give up her own life to save her love, 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 love? And you're like, oh, Probably. wouldn't she just be sleeping and then being like, how's it going, by the way? And Valkyrie's like, oh, oh well. Um, but no, then well, she, she wakes up, and she's, or, or she is already awake, and she looks over and Mjolnir is like, I think, vibrating near her while floating. It's like, I was, go kill stuff, come on! <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's the cut before we'll see what decision she makes, sort of thing. But just, again, I don't know, I'm like, it gives me the impression Mjolnir's shaking this like, I just want to kill her, pick me up so you'll die, I really want to kill her. <laughs> it do, I, I was actually going to make that point, but seriously, I was like... Does Mjolnir <laughs> want her dead, narratively speaking? Because it it's supposed to protect her, quote unquote, but it knows as well as everyone else does at this point that it will kill her if she grabs it. But it's walking up to her and be like, touch me, bitch. Do it. What? Grab that handle. I'll <laughs> kill you. you. I'll see. Really weird. Because uh, I just, I don't know no, what Tiger's um, trying to tell me. The, the best faith read I possibly have is it's like when Thor summons it, she's doing that like in her sleep. I think that this movie has done a, a put a huge effort into trying to say that Mjolnir and Stormbreaker have their own personalities and that in that moment she looks over like what's Mjolnir doing and like I got the distinct impression they were doing like Mjolnir's like come on let's go which is weird because it knows it'll kill her yes I just, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we cut back, and Thor's like, oh no, I'm losing. Ah. And then suddenly Mjolnir hits Gore in the fucking face. 
And we see that she's arrived on, uh, on, on... Did we decide what to call the horse? A winged horse, should we just say that? Yes? We could call it the Pegasus. The Pegasus. Probably has another name, but the Pegasus. The, the Lamesus. And it's, it's here. Boy. And she's like, I am Mighty Thor, let's fight. And so they're 2v1 now. Well, well, no, not really. They're 2v1 for like a second, and Thor says, Gotta stop the door from being opened. So I'll go do that. You fight Gore, you or at fight. least that's the plan. The plan they both come up with. And I was just like, "Well, if you kill Gore, that's you, you got to kill Gore. That's like the big yeah. thing. Stopping the door from being opened doesn't actually do much because he can just restart that if he kills both of you. You got to exactly. kill Gore. Yep. But these are the tactics. Yeah. yeah so it just makes it so that so smart. it makes it so that he's only fighting her, and you're like, "Well, he annihilated her easily last time." He didn't even have to do anything. It was the shadow creatures that did it. So, like, like Win. I don't even, I just don't understand. And so she starts like one v oneing him, and she's taking some decent damage. But we do get a pretty awesome moment. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think it's one of everyone's favorite in the movie. So uh, they like they clang together with what are their weapons, and and uh, Gore is like, "You've lost, Lady Thor." <laughs> and then, <laughs> and she like blasts off, and then she says, "My name." is Mighty Thor! Uh, and it doesn't stop. If it had stopped there, it would have been bad enough. <laughs> but then she says, and if you can't do that, I'll accept Dr. Jane Foster! And like, everybody all over Earth is just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it clear as well that like, you know what, he, he, he there's people who think, and this is just wrong, I don't know why people think this, right? Um, but there are people who think this, I've experienced them, um, that uh, Gore says, um, sort of like, Lady Thor, right? Like, you know, he says he says the name derisively, when, no, he's just like, you've lost, Lady Thor. And it's like, oh, that's the, I mean, that's not the tone he says in either, in either to be clear. But like, as in, Lady Thor is just part of the sentence. It's it's not something that he's like using um, as an insult. It's not it's not tonally said as an insult. Um, yet. To... Hmm? Oh, I was gonna say because there's there's more to bolster you with this, but go ahead. Well, okay, and like, okay, so Lady is a term given to like female Asgardian warriors. Like Lady Sif appears in this film. Uh, and that's the, like that's just a respectful term to use. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Thor is the name that Jane wants to be called, apparently. So, like, as far as is apparent, Gore used a just a, one of the most respectful titles for her that he could. Yeah. And to bolster your point, Jay, Lady or Dame is the uh, female equivalent of Sir, as in the knighting, you know, Sir exactly. and Sir, yeah. Sir so and so. Yeah, to, like it's a respectful term. To bolster you again, he has oh no God. reason to call her the Mighty Thor because nobody told him about that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, it's like it, it, the word Lady can be used disrespectfully, just like a lot of fucking words, but like. As in, I think there is that is a thing that ha has happened, right? That's a thing that happens occasionally. It's like, hey, listen, lady, right? You know, that happens. And it's not, like, the most respectful thing to call someone if you're using it like that. Hey, hey, lady, right? Mm -hmm. You can, you can, you can, you can get some derisiveness out of that. Yes. It's not, that's not what this scene is, though. Well, yeah, to me, it, it just comes across as, like, hyper overcompensation because they knew that a lot of people were going to find it weird and confusing that she's called Thor. Well, yes. The it's, genuine yeah. reaction um, yes. Gore could have had to her saying, call me Mighty Thor is... Okay. Yeah. I guess. Okay. That would have been funny. Like, that would have been really funny. Like, he uh, I would have liked to pause like, hang on, I thought he was Thor. Who are you? Yeah, yeah like, I'm confused. Uh, now I'm just confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold up, he was, he hold was up. already calling her yeah, Thor. <laughs> and then he just pauses there. All right, what's his name? What's your name? I just want to know so I can, you know. He's, he's like, are, like... Are, the, are all the children Thor as well? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> are you baby Thor? Are you, what, what are you? I'm very lost. I'm not baby Thor. I'm spectacular Thor. Oh. <laughs> As someone in chat said, she should say, I'm Thor to the Dark World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the kids could be like, I'm Thor Ragnarok. 
you could you I, imagine if they found a way to get that line in the film? Like if um if if she ended the sentence with a Thor two, like like that was that's yeah. just a thing she's saying because she's a character with a sense of humor. Like I'm Thor two, and then like the next sentence starts with the Dark World will never. Yeah, yeah. I would actually adore that as a joke. Ah, oh, the film's almost over, by the way. Kind of. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I say that, though, we've still got a decent amount to talk about in terms no. of things that happen. So, yeah, um, she then says, eat my hammer. And, uh, eat it. Yeah. yeah, because that's a catchphrase. She said she used the Thor, they build it up. So good. I, I, that's another, like, it's it's really shit. And, like, no <laughs> amount of, ah, uh, but see, she's running with it anyway, is going to, like, overcompensate for how shit that sounds. As, yeah. like, a fright. Eat Does it work hammer. for you in any way, Jay? You're the self-work wrench person. Not really. I mean, Oof. I appreciate it. I appreciate Oof. what they're doing. It's like, I, and if the Jeez. film was fine, like if the film was all right, I'd be like, that line isn't horrible. Like that line wouldn't drag it all the way down for me, right? It would just well, be like a, something they set up and then paid off as like a joke. You know what? I don't think it actually works, right? If the whole point is that she knows it's cringe and she doesn't care, as kind of like a, I don't care what people think. I like this line kind of contradicts getting like hyper defensive about the name that you get called in the well no i mean the context you know? isn't good like, like that's the, the that's the caveat right like if it was in a decent film it would be in different context yeah of course it's just kind of weird though right like if it's meant to be a triumphant ah see she doesn't care it's like after spending a decent amount of time explaining what name you need to call her you know it's like kind of uh it's <laughs> kind of really. if, if, in, if in Ragnarok you'd had Thor say like you know um, what if I said this uh, and he, he came out with something that was in character but kind of lame but funny and then he, at the end of the film he rolls with it I think that would have been a pretty good functional joke it so wouldn't again, be eat my hammer because that would be out of his character but you know something if Jane was more of a character and if Gore was more of a character and if the film made more sense then maybe that would have worked <laughs> Maybe it would have. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily think that this line is the thing that you need to change to fix the joke, right? No, you need to change the whole story. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Wait, no, hang on. Uh, this is making me try and think of like far better one line, you know, finishing lines where the hero is just about to beat the bad guy, he drops a line and then ends with the the, the big punch. Um, wow. Well, all right, go for it, actually. Well, well, one of my favorite, one of my favorite is the final line in the Stargate film where he drops the guy on the ground and he says, give my regards to King Todd, asshole, and then kills him. It's like, mm. that's all, that was always I, uh, great. <laughs> I now have just thought of, like, an example. Uh, in Silicon Valley, uh, the main character, um, he's... he's uh, he's pretty awkward. He's, he's, not, he's not exactly, like, a super witty guy. And, um... There's a character he's talking to at the beginning of the episode who, like, comes back to him sort of begging to be part of his company again, and he tells him to kiss my piss. He says, <laughs> kiss my piss. He finds that very confusing, and then he does, like, a really awkward dance. And it's like, this is painful, right? Like, on purpose. And then at the end of the episode, when he actually outsmarts, like, the main villain, uh, Gavin Belson, he says, kiss my piss again, and does the really awkward dance. And it's kind of, like, endearing... Because he's won, he's actually succeeded. Like, whatever amount of awkwardness stems from his yeah. choice of what he says, it doesn't matter. He's actually won. He's outsmarted him. Like, Weird. he's he, he's more intelligent than him. It doesn't matter how cringy you think it is. Weird example, actually, is uh, Steven Universe gets this right, even. Oh, um, boy. I, to be fair, this one might be a divisive one. There might be loads of people going, and ah, this was actually cringe and horrible, but I doubt anyone here and I, I don't I doubt anyone here who thinks Steven Universe is that cringe and horrible um got five seasons in. So fuck it. I'm not gonna get any disagreement. Um <laughs> there's a character called oh, Lars who um he's a teenager and like he um he he's he's gets like uh he's like having an awkward social confrontation and when instead of saying yes, just as like when he's being awkward, he goes Bingo Bongo! And he's like, immediately, like, why the fuck did I say Bingo Bongo? What the fuck was that? And having just this teenage angst moment. Um, and it comes okay. back later, like, a few episodes later, he's, um, he's like, antagonizing a villain. Um, and this is, like, uh, it's not, his arc isn't very good, but I still think the moment works of, like, there's a villain who's mad at him. He's like, you can't possibly do this thing! And he goes, Bingo Bongo! And it's kind of funny. Well, so, maybe... 
maybe th this might be helping me out. Why is it that I can look at something in Silicon Valley that is like cringe, but see that it was intentional and like it doesn't annoy me? It's like, but I know that th I know that they can do better than that. So that was on purpose. Like that show is really funny. So like the fact that they would have something in here that's cringe, it's like it's clearly very deliberate and not the yeah. best that they could do. Whereas when Jane says "eat my hammer," it's probably because they legitimately couldn't think of a better line. But like they didn't think of one. Like because why would you sacrifice a good line if you could have it? You know, like yeah. an unironically good. Well, line. yeah. When it doesn't when it doesn't rise above the other the other bad lines, you're like, okay, exactly. so you you this one shit. Yeah, like it's as um, shit as everything. Else, as opposed to something that is markedly shit amidst a lot of better jokes well, and better I think, content. Um, one thing, one, one finite one, I'm not sure it's exactly the same context, but like it's like a delivered, like, you know, a big line, right? Um, one of my favorites, these, uh, hero confronted villain getting a cool line, Mission Impossible Fallout, when, uh, I forget the fucking names, it's Mission Impossible, I haven't watched these films that many times. Um, it's like, uh, well, once, not many times. Uh, so what's the what's Tom Cruise's character's name? Oh fuck it, Tom Cruise. Ethan Tom Hawkins Cruise time. meets Henry Henry Cavill, um, and he's like, I think uh, Henry Cavill's character thought he was dead or something. And he, he shows back up triumphantly and then just goes, "Yeah, that's right, prick." It's great. One well, of my favorite like lines in the film. Scene. What I like about that scene as well is how Henry Cavill was just like, oh, "Okay," and then grabs his machine yeah. gun out from. Back of the uh, the helicopter just starts firing. That's good stuff. That um, next, really good. Let off some steam. Bennett is still pretty classic. Oh. Well, yeah, but these these are like stick around. He's dead tired. <laughs> so those have many. never been appealing to me. Those ones that are just oh, like I love basic. Let off some steam. I, Bennett, that's fucking great. Yeah, that was <laughs> hilarious. To throw a pipe through a dude and have all the steam shooting out of his chest. <laughs> Tell him to let off some steam. See you at the party, Richter. <laughs> I just, I've never found those to be particularly divorce. witty, I guess. What? I, right. I don't know that Why they're supposed we... to be that witty. It's I To me, it's I... always been more of a... a that sort of, you know... Yeah. It didn't take much in terms of intelligence to come up with that, but it's more than nothing, and it's kind of it's fun. Bad. My hand, so, so sure. One of the greats is uh, from Die Hard. It wasn't an ending line, but then he used it in the second film as ending line. It's the yippee ki -yay, mother, and then... Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> yes. they, uh, they use that one throughout the whole series. Yeah. Um, nice rec Except in the fourth one, they censor it in the theatrical release. Uh, uh, what? They have in-universe in censorship. It's one of the only times I've ever yeah. seen it, really. He says motherfucker, but it's when he shoots a gun, so it comes out as mother... <laughs> because Die Hard 4 was PG-13. Um, so, in fact, if you watch the theatrical release, then you watch the, uh, the, like, re-release, like, DVD, they actually add swear words back in, because they couldn't get <laughs> them into the theatrical. Now, at, that is a choice to make Die Hard, PG-13, mm -hmm. that is a choice to make. I wouldn't say it's a particularly wise one. Let's make Die Predator Hard's PG. Make, make Halloween a PG, why not? What's aside from Die Hard One? What's everybody's favorite Die Hard movie? Because you can't count one because everybody's favorite. Seen one. It's not one. fair. One is great. I watched it recently. I thought there was only one so correct what, answer it, to that question. I didn't realize there was another option. I think there is one correct answer, but I'm curious. See, so I can't remember the other ones. Most of chat has made the correct correct choice. Dude, some people uh, in chat saying four. What? what? That's Damn. kind of funny. But um, okay. most people are making the correct choice, which is it's three. Die Hard three is is the after Die Hard one. That's yeah, you, one. you can Google it. You'll find the correct answer. Google has you know like just the, well, the, 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 the definitively I, correct answer. It's written in. I books. do like Die Hard. I do like Die Hard too. Um, I like all the Die Hards except really... for the ones I haven't seen, which is the new one, number five, I guess. I I've haven't seen terrible. five either, but I've. Heard I like one, two, three, four, and five. Things. No, sorry, I like one, two, three, and four, but I like four. Um, I don't uh, like four I as much as two, and I don't like two as much as three, and I don't like three as much as one. No, wait. I could choose between two, three and one. I love them both. I it's like Indiana Jones. That's interesting because I uh I I really like three, but one is is top dog. I'm very partial a... to Jeremy Irons and Samuel Jackson. Of course, okay. of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the banter between um. 
for Klein and, and Zeus is that's some good shit. Yeah. Anyway, Zeus. <laughs> yeah. What a great way to come back to this movies. thing. Yeah. <laughs> And coming back to the film, because we haven't beat this dead horse enough about the line, look, uh, at least she committed to it. Um, Portman, she, I felt she at least she committed to the line and gave it as much as she could. I don't take any uh, issue with her performance. I really don't. Yeah. I feel kind of bad for her, to be Me honest with you. Either. What, that she got brought back and this is what she got given? Yeah, and I feel like Natalie Portman just doesn't get enough opportunity to do stuff she's capable of. Uh, yeah, like, she's a really good actress. Like, can you please give her some material to work with that's not snoopy <laughs> and boopy and lame? Yeah, whatever we want those words to mean, that's what it means. Mm. So anyway, um, Thor fails to prevent Stormbreaker from opening the door, it just does, and he's like, oh no. And then they work together to defeat Gore. Um, so it just makes everything that happened up to that point feel pointless, but that's fine. Uh, they... Like, uh, uh, Jane is, like, damaged. Uh, like, half her mask has come off, and she's got, like, bloodied, a uh, bloodied up face, kind of. And, and uh, I think it's supposed to just help us understand visually that she's she's running out. She's got limited time on this earth. Um, and so there's this... Mechanically, this was so confusing to me, and I think we I had to talk to a couple of you guys for a while about what I'm supposed to have thought happened here. So you've got Thor's split the lightning bolt into two pieces, I think, and jammed Gore's sword into it. And then Mjolnir smashes into the sword on top of that, which smashes the sword into, let's call it, 15 pieces. And they are all over the place. Um, but when Mjolnir oh, so did that, it burst into its pieces as well. And so when she calls it back... It drags the pieces of Gore's sword with it, <laughs> and so her hammer reassembles with Gore's sword inside it. Mm, yes. Um, and there's a pause here, and I remember in the, in the theater I was like, my brain was like rushing in terms of what visually I've just been told, and do you know what came up in my head that I don't think the film even remotely wanted me to think about? Was, what oh was shit, it? she's wielding the sword now. She's corrupted by oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, that's not, not. That's not it. <laughs> that's no, not at all no. what the film's going for. Don't go that way. It's like, so what is the film going for? The film is going for. Gore starts to reassemble his sword, and it's pulling chips out of Mjolnir of of the ones that are in there. She realizes this, and so calls down lightning, and then smashes the hammer into the ground, and it bursts the pieces of his sword and destroys his sword permanently, I guess. Yeah, it disintegrates into little bits. And so, really, all you were supposed to take from that whole sequence of events was just they managed to figure out a cool way to finally destroy the sword for good. And I just, cool. the way that it's presented really yeah. made me think like I had missed something important that has happened there, like something else mechanically. Mm -hmm. It it's always seemed like... If Mjolnir hadn't been shattered, they wouldn't have been able to sh break the um, yeah. Necro Sword because they, it's like they're using the feature that it was shattered to trap the sword and do all the things. And it's like, well, if that is the case, that they're only able to do it because Mjolnir was broken, that is incredibly convenient. Well, let's it's be like honest, that. Chad. Like, if if I, like, fire a shotgun's worth, like, 15 pieces of Mjolnir in one direction and pull them back, they're not going to pull pieces of shards of a sword with them. They'll just go past. No, That's just not at all yeah. how physics work. And then someone's gonna yeah. be like, Oh, it's not how physics work with a magic hammer, huh? And I'll be like, well, I... I <laughs> what? She's like, why does it happen? It yeah, we've got a reason does. to think it should happen this way. Yeah. There's been no precedent set up that Mjolnir or even the pieces can drag things with it where it, when it moves. Um, I, I was just questioning, would Mjolnir even have the ability to break the Necro Sword? I, I, to, I thought these were such mythical, legendary weapons. Breaking such items like this requires something insane, like we saw with Hela. But they just, no, they, they throw the hammer at the sword, the sword yeah. breaks, like, oh, okay. So, well, uh, the fact that they broke it, and then it starts reassembling, and then they super break it. You're like, okay. Why didn't breaking it work? And it's like, I don't know, you gotta yeah. break it into more pieces than that. And you're like, oh. Smaller pieces, and then why couldn't it assemble from smaller like, pieces? No, no, now it's, now it's broken properly. It's like, okay. 
It feels like they were going for like, I don't know, almost T-1000 shit, whereas like, we've defeated it. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, we need a better, but like, the new way doesn't, like... Doesn't feel any different, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, alright then, that did it. It's like, it's like if they defeated the T-1000 by burning him harder. Oh no, sorry, freezing him freezing harder, whichever him one they do more, first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Freezing him, let's freeze him colder! So it's, um, yeah, don't, don't know what to do with that, but yeah, so you might think, people listening, so that's it? They win? Like, ah, yes, but remember, everyone's <laughs> really stupid. So, the <laughs> door, it. the door is open, and it has been yeah, open this whole time. Gore Thor is right be... next to Thor, on the floor, while Natalie Portman's like a few meters away, uh, after having destroyed the sword. That is, you know, logistically, where everyone's at. So, of yeah. course, the next thing that happens is Thor runs up to Natalie Portman and is like, Oh my god, honey, are you okay? Oh my god, jeez, oh no, ooh, are you okay? Ooh, and I think she... what you did say is the next thing that happens is that Thor snaps Gore's neck, just like kills him straight away. <laughs> I'm sure it's that's terrible. coming, I'm sure. That I'm, I'm, I see I've got a list of scenes to read out. I'm sure we're getting there any second now. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Gore's broken I'm neck. And yeah, so Thor's like, oh my god, what happened? And then, and then, and then Jane is like, bro, you gotta stop him from getting to the thing. And then Thor goes, what? And looks over at the door, <laughs> and Gore literally walks in. Oh, so he's you... so dumb. He's so so, much. so yeah, we did destroy the Necro Sword, but it's too late. Gore got to eternity. Only Yay. it's not too late. And you might be thinking, well, why? Well. Eternity works kind of weird. When someone steps in, they don't enter into like a different state of being in which the wish is granted. They instead teleport themselves and anybody within a, let's say, 10 meter radius around them to a different plane where they can have a chat for a bit. Don't know why. Yeah, obviously, duh. You might say it's convenient that this is how it works. Because obviously Gore isn't going to kill all the gods by the end of this movie, so something else has to happen at some point. Eh, so yeah, every, Thor, Jane, and Gore are all teleport into this room when really it should just be Gore. Uh, yep. But okay, again, super lucky. And Gore is right up to eternity. He's he's doing some flames. He's like he's like holding up his hands, and Thor's like, "Gore, you bastard!" And it's <laughs> just like there's not much point, is there? You've lost. He's already got it. Um, but then he's like, Gore, you seek love, not revenge. And then Gore turns around and he's like, love? Why should I seek that? And the second he started talking, I thought about Taken. I don't remember how many people here have uh, seen Taken. I assume pretty much everybody, actually, but whatever. There's, um, there's a bit where it's like a standoff, where the evil villain has got a knife on Taken's daughter, and Taken has a gun on him, and... He, like, opens up the door and he puts the gun on him and just stares. And there's a good few seconds of all three... Well, not really Taken. He's Liam Neeson, I just like calling him Taken. The villain and the, the, the daughter are both, like, terrified and confused as to what his plan is, but he's just aiming the gun. And then the villain begins to explain his terms and Taken just shoots him right in the head. And it's cool. <laughs> Because it makes you think like that was that's probably what he decided is the best possible way to handle this situation considering all the variables is I will shoot him the second he starts talking because that'll put him at mm -hmm. least vaguely in some way less focused on making sure he slices the throat if anything happens, you know? He's slightly distracted by speaking. The second Gore starts talking to you, fucking, have you got any weapon? Throw something! Kill him! <laughs> Do yeah. something! I swear to god. It's like Thor doesn't realize, if he kills all the gods in the universe, you, you get what kind of repercussions that's gonna have beyond just killing innocent people, right? Because some of them are, some of them aren't, whatever, but... Yeah. And he's lost the Necro Sword. He technically is a regular guy now. You, you could just take him out so quickly. Yep. Yep, like, easy peasy. But like, yeah, legit, it comes, if you watch this scene, it comes across as Gore is like, you know, now that I'm here... I'm not sure what I want to wish for. What do you think, Thor? <laughs> it's just like, uh, well, I prefer you don't kill everyone. He's like, hmm, okay, okay, I'm All listening. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Thor tries reverse psychology on him. He's like, I don't even want to talk to you. You win. I'm going to go hang out with Jane. 
And then Gore's like, don't you walk away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm like, why is this the scene? Why? Um, but then, and then, and then it gets hyper cringe, guys. What is going to convince Gore to not kill all the gods? What piece of information could he possibly be given? What is it that Thor knows? What is it that Thor could say? Thor's like, can be insightful, but like, what is it going to be? And Thor says, hey man, you know that wish? Like, why not like bring back your daughter? And Gore's like, wait a minute. Oh shit! Yeah, I can do that. Damn. And he's like, he's like, wait, he's like counting that, that on his fingers. That falls into the category of literally anything. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I, I don't. Wait. Whoa. And then he comes up with the perfect counter. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, he says I thought of that already, and that's not in any way going to fulfill me. And it's the 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 damage the gods provided. That's the thing I need to prevent in the future. Blah blah blah. No, he says. Well, but if I die, then no one can take care of it. So no. <laughs> Uh, which I was baffled by in the cinema. I was like, that's what they came up with? The father who's like, I wouldn't bring back my daughter if it meant I die. Like, and she can't be taken care of. What's the point? <laughs> it's like, wow! Mm. Father um, of the year. Yeah. What, a, what an excellent choice for dialogue. And then Jane, who is dying on the floor, says, she, she won't be alone. Okay. It's, it's like oh, Thor oh. can take care of her. <laughs> I just—it's amusing because it's like Jade. What are you? Uh, what we don't even know what's happening. And do you know what's happening? <laughs> you, you seem like you're like half dead. I don't know. Did we um, only tell you something? I don't know. And so um, it's just funny because they're committing to take care of the daughter. It'd be hilarious. If the daughter came back and she's like this absolute psychopath that wants to kill everything more than the dad ever did. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, you know what? So was highlighted in chat. It's like, is this better or worse than Wanda? Because like, if Gore said, "There's no point in bringing it back. What if she gets ill with something I could only solve in a different universe? There would be no point. <laughs> like, no, point. no point at all." Um. So yeah, they go they go nice and mystically on us. The wish is granted, and it's like, oh, what wish did he did he do? Oh god, what did he do? Um. Before we find out, Jane says her her last things. Um. Because ever since I picked up that hammer, it's felt like an extra life, magical. I couldn't help like but think, wasted. like, it's literally <laughs> killing you. It's taking it the like life. Wasted, it feels like you wasted the last HP on your current life with that, but okay. It doesn't work, because she told her, do you remember when they had the shitty dialogue from Darcy, where she's like, oh, you want to get back to your l laboratory because you have always felt that this any second you're not working is seconds the universe doesn't benefit from your incredible brain you know saving mm. people's lives and stuff though so what she's saying here is like man until i picked up that hammer you know it's like now i feel like i've had extra fun it's like it, it it's it's oh. canon that it killed you <laughs> like i don't know why we... <sighs> right. yeah and then she says not bad for a human and thor's like not bad for a god oh, shut up yeah <laughs> Um, and then, and then, you know, everything goes white and it, it fades back in and, and the daughter's back and Gore's like, ah, oh, sweet. But he's like, eh, now I'm dying. I'm definitely dead. Wait, wait, uh, wait. There's an aspect <laughs> of this decision that we've not touched on yet. Oh, what's that? Oh, you know or, what? Yes. There's actually countless aspects to it in a, in a way, but you go ahead. What are you going to say? Um, I was going to point out, unless this is something we're coming to still, um, the, you hey, she won't be alone. She won't be alone. Thor will take care of her. You know, one of those people that you fucking hate and dedicated your life to killing? Mm. So that's the you angle know? you're going with. That's totally fair. There's there's about a few hundred others, if you think about it. I'm curious. Why not, so like, uh, well, so he came, he came here with uh, the intent to kill all gods, because yes. he hates them. And left here thinking, well, you know what would be better? So... You know what would be better than than that? My, if I, well, I, I wouldn't want to bring my daughter back because no one could take care of her. But what if one of the people that I've dedicated to my life to genociding took care of her? That would do it. Yeah, good. Sure. We'll do that. Um, so there's that. There's also, like, why didn't he just... like? So his brain's really not expanding very far. Could you not wish for, like, I wish my entire bloodline were safe and happy and healthy? Yeah. Apparently so. I I mean, more in that, like this is a wish. You could like I like remove I was, suffering from the universe. So I was or, actually gonna be like well, yeah, then exactly. you expand it to not just people he loves or cares or is a bloodline a part of, his whole people, right? Because that was that's how the film begins, all the people wiped out, and then you're like, okay, but maybe why not 
every people that have ever said wait a bit and it's, that's exactly the problem with this it get it just exponentially becomes an issue of like you guys do you understand if the avengers found out about this and we still had the writing that kind of is in like civil war and stuff i would want the scene where they're like thor like you should probably be fucking executed for the amount of like horrible decision making you've just made and thor would be confused he'd be like, what, are you, what are you talking about like you don't understand what you've taken from the world you have no do idea do you Exactly, a wish granting entity that's been used for something that is not like a greater um good for like more and more and more people. You've just taken that from the universe. It's uh it's unfathomably selfish, selfish. what happens in this yep. scene. <laughs> yeah. Uh and the film does not even want to come close to acknowledging it. It's like no 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 no. It was really sweet, it was beautiful, shut up, we're moving on. It's like no. <laughs> Nope. You stay right here. You, you're a horrible person. I'm just gonna say it. You, you had the chance to remove pain and suffering on, you know, cosmic levels, multiversal levels, and you simply didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So we, I don't yeah. know if this is gonna get us off on a tangent, though. Um. I guess. Look, I don't think they have the philosophical um uh, insight to even think about other different options but for me I, I i actually think suffering is necessary to have happiness and so i wouldn't wish to I would want suffering but i would want that conversation in the film you know yeah that would yeah, be awesome yeah. i'm more that than happy for a character yeah a character to believe if there are no lows then the highs can't even be defined that sort of thing could um, you imagine we, we, well, go ahead could, could you imagine like thor being a really well-defined character in this film and gore being a really well-defined character in this film that they've been at each other's throats the entire time but gore does have clear motivations and ultimately he considers himself an altruist because he thinks he's ridding the world of gods who are a force of evil and ultimately and they eventually sit down and have this wish together and you realize that now that they are, have access to the wish and gore's not going to use it to kill all the gods they can just have a conversation about what it's best to use it for yeah that would never That'd be great. Happen. That'd be a great payoff. That would be fucking amazing. Yeah, we're gonna have. <laughs> I don't know. That is nobody, pretty beautifully. Nobody has real conversations in the MCU. They don't no. like talk to each other. They kind of like talk at each other. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of like platitudes and that's whatever. But like nobody ever has a real conversation. It's um, it's getting a little fucking annoying now. Yeah. Just how like little substance there I mean, is here, like... especially when we talk about like. These are meant to be superhero films with, again, like, pretty clearly defined most of the time heroes and villains. And it's just, like, so often is the moral aspect of, like, the superhero thing considered now that, like, we have so many, like, I wouldn't even say morally confused. We've just got characters making really bad decisions, um, doing really selfish things, cruel things. It's, um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. Like, it's not that hard. Honestly, it's a fucking shame, but we're almost there, so, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. We cut to, uh, back to New Asgard. They've made a statue for Jade, which, yeah. I don't know. Of course. I, I think it's because Why? of the film, but I'm just like, yeah, she would have loved that, that vain prick. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I mean, she was pretty arrogant, yeah. Um, Korg is having a kid with Dwayne. Thif is training Axel to be better at fighting, I guess. The, Remember the... how, like, before the film came out, they're like, yeah, Sif's coming back. Mm -hmm. How many minutes of screen time did she get? Less than one? Maybe even less than one. I think you might be right, yeah. yeah. I think I was memeing there at first, but it might actually be less than one minute of screen time. It's very little. And very they, little. They don't use it very well. <laughs> well, it's uh... just... I don't know, man. Like... <laughs> Oh yeah, and and of course, uh, Thor has a child now that he takes care of. Yeah, because um, for some reason, this weird child has godly powers. You know, because brought back eternity powers. Yeah. You know, uh, the the meme. This is by the way. I don't think many people have talked about this, so maybe it isn't fair to say. I don't know, but there's lots of memes when it comes to to fun things online where people will say we've even done it in this stream already we said where she would say i am thor 2 the dark world or there's characters in a, in a movie that was like welcome to the matrix reloaded or so, something funny because it's just like that's so awkwardly uh the family guy did this with the, the, or must... the quest for peace yeah <laughs> oh that's why they but call it is that. this the first movie that's 
that literally so the way it ends is that uh Thor and that girl she's super powered she's she's eternity yeah. now so she can who fucking knows what they're going to do with that and and they tell us like like Korg's um commentary he's like yeah and they so they go on adventures they do fights and stuff and they're about to battle a huge army together at the end and Korg says they are Thor love and thunder <laughs> and it's like uh Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> that's that's apparently why this film is called that. Well, among other reasons, is that is her name Love or is that love. just? I think that's her name. I thought yeah. I thought it was just they call them Love and Thunder. I think, I think he said Thor. Did he? Did I? I don't think he. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know. they were that brazen to actually have him say Thor, Love and Thunder as the last lines. But there was certainly Love and Thunder, and I think that's meant to be her name. I, just I, thought, I, thought he said, I thought he said, together they are Thor, Love, and Thunder. No, I thought I, it was just together they are Love and Thunder. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Maybe, oh, maybe. Together, together they are called Love and, Th Love and Thunder. Um, I can't cause, remember. Cause, yeah, because now I'm thinking, like, did she even have a name? Uh, I imagine she had a name when she was, like, a regular person, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, obviously, I, I just mean, now. how are they referring to her? Did they avoid referring to her so that we don't know? Maybe they yeah, haven't they, made up their mind yet on like, what they're uh, actually going to do with that uh, plot line. I don't think she gets named in the film other than being called Love. Which is a kind of a shit name to have, <laughs> to be honest. I won't be like, hi, I'm Love. It's a great name. What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, That's the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Oh, bad. yeah. That, of course, yeah, Hercules. Is, he'll be coming in Thor 5. I guess, yeah. Excited. And also, uh, Jane went to Valhalla and Heimdall's just chilling out yeah. there. Because why not? Because um, she died in battle, even though she very much died after the battle. After the battle. <laughs> yes, that counts. Which yeah. concerns so, yeah. Tiff earlier in the movie, but hey, it's exactly. fine. Exactly. <laughs> but, they uh, do that all the time. I mean, their jokes undercut their drama in ways that they intend, but then also in ways they had yeah. no idea, and they're like, whoops. So, uh, wh where are we sitting on this one? <laughs> That's far, a great I wanna question. Sit, I want to sit far away from it. I don't want to touch this one, yeah. I still put it above Multiverse of Madness. But I think like, you have to. Yeah. Yeah, but, but like it's not, to. you know, it's, it's not far it's, off. It's catastrophic. I'm, I'm um, inching toward a two. What do you guys think? Yeah. Then? Yeah, I'll see about a two. 1.5 or two. Yeah. I had uh, yeah, initially so given it, a, yeah, I initially gave it a three, but the more you look at it, the more crap you find, and now I'm down to a two. It's uh, it's deficient in character, big time. There's uh, only the like absolute nonsense. It's about the four or five is... lines I think that are good in this. The rest of it is either terrible or like, you know, bad in the sense yeah. of like a four out of ten type line. Yeah, which I guess it's just it's a matter of like the depth to which it. It's hard. Multiverse of Madness is like implications on all universes. This one is capped. To not be there just by virtue of being in its own universe, but it's yeah. sure tries. Yeah. Um, it's getting really boring and lame to just be like, what is the current Marvel? You can at this point guess on average that like the current phase four project will be a two or a three. Yeah. And be right most of the time. Uh by most of the time I mean like almost all the time, with one exception. It's kind of yeah. wild. Yeah. The I mean, quality we, we, of the writing has deteriorated significantly. Yes, we, 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 I mean we said it like say it all the time, but just do lower stakes. Do you have lower stakes less would be a big, issue, yeah. way less issues to take care of in terms of like this whole breaking universe stuff. Isn't that don't, need to, what, just, um, don't need to get out all these in, insane new mechanics that you just invent or just pull out of the wikis. Isn't that what Taika wants right now? Isn't that, that um? Didn't Taika open, uh, say that he wants to do Thor 5 if he can just do a, a, like a low stake story with Thor just going around figuring stuff out about himself? And they that? won't let him though. They won't. Dude, no. even the TV shows, they're not even like letting them be low stakes either. And they're the ones that have like less money to work with. The films will never be allowed to be low stakes. Homecoming was this weird anomaly mm -hmm. that like just managed to slip through of like a really low stakes film. I think film. the reason that slipped through was because it had Iron Man in it. Um, maybe that would yeah, they can still yeah. feel so like they can it's still bigger have, than it is. Like, 
yeah, they could still have a way to get like you know another hero with name pull or something, right? They could do a low stake story that still has a big that big appeal. That Moon big Knight didn't of... even get a low stake story. I was going to say, I don't think we're disputing happen. that they can do it. it I just they do not believe they will. I, th I think they could do it within the framework that they have set up of wanting. I, I don't believe that they will, but I think that there is like. Even with the um, you know the executives going, but we've got to get bums and seats, right? You know, we can't just have like a. Even then, I think you can do it, right? Just bring another MCU character in who people will be like, oh wow, they're in this, like Iron Man, you know, but not him because he's dead. Wow, who knows at this stage? Um, but the thing is that I... very few MCU characters have. You know what? Like the Guardians. Wow. That yeah, we'll, that'd be I great. guess we'll see what. A movie, just a low stakes Guardians Thor movie. They're on the road, figuring stuff, you know, doing stuff. Dude, Having, can't do where, it, where was our yeah. movie? They would absolutely do that. Like, what? That, I mean, they, they, we could, they weren't doing that. We deserved like, movies know. that took place during the uh, the time after the Civil War and no, the time after Civil War oh, and before Infinity sure, War. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. we deserved at yeah, least two. <laughs> <laughs> God, what a great time to have like a Daredevil type rise up when the Avengers yeah. team is split into this vigilante Avengers. Like that is the perfect time for someone to be inspired. Like you know what? I I agree with them. Law. It shouldn't be that the government control me, and I, I well, should be able that, to do what whatever I want. Secret Avengers. The Secret Avengers so like, movie. Skip but, past it. Yeah. Well, skip past everything because at this point, the snap. We we are we are long past that, dude. We're at the yeah. point where we make jokes about. Infinity cones. Oh god, I don't remember that shit. Fuck off, man. Yeah. Yep. Um, which means we're about to wrap up, and I know uh, oh, boy. we are just over what the lowest EFAP record is of all time. <laughs> like I said, there are many reasons for this happening. One, the biggest reason right now is that obviously Rags is unable to do anything extra, but I am also due to pop onto a different stream that's happening right now. Um, oh my god. Adam and Sitch are celebrating their 200th episode. Oh. Good for Good them. Man. We'll go. We'll go see about chatting with them. I'm sure I'll have loads to say. They currently have Destiny and Sargon talking to each other, so <laughs> I'm sure I'll. <laughs> oh man, that must be great. I'll look chat. I'll do what I can to make them talk about movies. Okay. Look <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys see that new Thor movie? <laughs> <laughs> so Not bad. Up, oh. um, as for Super Chats, myself, Fringy, and Rags should see y'all on Wednesday. If not Wednesday, yeah. it, you know, I, I just can't promise anything exactly. But, um, you know, hopefully, by the time we hit the next EFAP, I'll have more substantive things to report on in terms of a new project. I say a new project, it's the one I've been working on for a while, but it's just getting into later phases, which is nice. Still not, you know, coming. Also, we have the anniversary on the way. There's so many things to, to keep track Ooh. of. This is hard to balance all the time flumes right now. Um, yeah. But I wouldn't want to exit before giving everyone their chance to talk about what they're getting up to these days, where they can be found, and I guess we'll start with uh, with Mr. Shad. How you doing, buddy? What's going on? Well, you know, I got Night's Watch, that's gone really well. And of course, yeah. Shadowversity's stuff. Uh, there's a little thing happening on Shadowversity because unfortunately it seems like YouTube's burying the videos, but uh, mm -hmm. made a video talking about that and that's getting a really, really positive response and a lot of support in that. So that's that's been lifting. Um, and yeah, just chugging forward, doing that stuff. So if you do want to hear more of my thoughts on media specifically, Night's Watch is the place for that. I've been having lots of fun we got a recent Rings of Power trailer reaction, um, and, uh, oh, lots, lots to say on that one. Oh, yeah, everyone's loving it, right? Everybody excited? Well, Rings of Power, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> it's Lord it's, of the Rings. Oh, Everyone loves Lord of the Rings. Oh, man, it's going <laughs> to be, it's looking to be really bad. Like, the recent um, trailer slash final teaser thing, there, there are some real bad sides that we're talking about some of the dialogue they thought to feature as they're thinking let's like you would think they'll pick the best parts of the show to, or some of the best parts to feature the quality and the dialogue they chose to do is amazingly bad mm -hmm. like i have you seen have you guys seen it the line between galadriel and um elrond uh, like, i already forgot. i've seen gary's coverage <laughs> so i've probably seen this line you, which one in you have not seen what i have seen i have seen enough you have not seen. Oh what yeah, I have that was seen. really. 
Oh, I yeah, was that like, was pretty, what? That was really bad. Yeah. I remember now. Badly Dude, weird. I legit, because like I said, I, had, I didn't watch the trailer on its own. I watched it through Gary's coverage. And when he showed the clip of them saying the equivalent of Let the Past Die, I was like, you didn't. You didn't fucking yeah, they use got that. that in it. <laughs> Why <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so on the nose. It's, oh boy. You must have I... known how much fans hate that fucking sentiment. Why would you put that in the trailer? <laughs> like, what was wrong with you? I really felt like cope that they will try to it was it felt like a message to the um the fans that are get it, already saying this is going to be awful saying forget the uh, past forget the peter jackson trilogy this is something new as uh, and then they even say it's something like you know uh forget the past or you'll die with it that's the line they put yep. in i'm like oh Info. Oh, so yeah, uh, link in the description for Shad's channel. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks. Metal, what are you getting up to? Oh, I'm doing all kinds of shenanigans. Ew. Uh, I, I did Metal's Forge last night with Mark the Robot. Talking about Robocop, the original one, that was a good fun. I think you mean Mark the Cyborg. Cyborg? No, Robot, because we talked about Robocop. Racism. Yeah, Cyborg. yeah uh, that was good fun. Uh, go check that out. Uh, I'm going to do more twitch uh soon i'll do it a bit less because i'm i'm preparing like other stuff like jay makes me watch the next generation of star trek that was a yeah. stream we did last week that's been the a best good thing i'm currently making you watch that's true because jay also is making me watch three episodes of farzar for Yay. next week's battles forge and that's probably no one be knows really what that is bad. good I, I actually genuinely curious if anyone in chat is like, oh, Faza. You know, oh, when the, th that came out uh, two days ago. So I don't know. Farscape? No, no, no. So many Farscape. ripples from, from that coming out. Uh, Everyone yeah. knows about it, yeah. So yeah, that, that Forge is going to be on Thursday, I think we said. I think 21st <laughs> mm. was the date. Uh, so yeah, that's on the, on, the, on the media channel of mine. That's just called Metal. And you can just find it if you look for Metal's Forge. You find it on the YouTube. That's how this works. You type it in, and then you find it. Uh, you really yeah. did kind of fuck yourself naming yourself after a common thing. That's just a word. Idiot. Well, shut up. Yeah, uh, yeah f finishing up Majora's Mask currently. Been doing my first playthrough. That, that's been good fun. And uh, yeah, just slowly chipping away on that John Wick 2 video. Uh, Sweet. That's, that's what I've been doing, yeah. You know, John Wick 2 is good, right? So people are going to get annoyed when you when you say it's bad. Well, that's okay, because they're wrong. <gasps> Evil. So, Jay, what are you up to? Making a video on Brickleberry, and then I'm making a video on this shit fest. What? Why? Because uh, I hate it. That's <laughs> genuinely the reason. <laughs> um, because I've not seen a film in so... Like, actually... I, I struggle to think, right? Because most films that are bad that have come out, like, maybe they piss me off at the time, but then I get out and I'm like, I laugh at them. This, I was just like, I was just mad. I'm just, I'm coping and seething. I I hate this film. Damn. And um, I actually struggled to think of a film that's made me feel that way, like, this much before. If there was one major thing that can crystallize into explaining what it is that makes you so angry about this film, what what what, what is it? What is that element? What is it? What does Treatment it do? of Thor. <gasps> but then we'll also be going over treatment of gore and treatment of uh, m mighty Thor and Korg. No, I don't give a shit. And Zeus. What? Zeus. Oh, Zeus. <laughs> Zeus. I was just, I was just like with Zeus. I was picturing like I am Zeus, goddess of the animals or some shit. Like, yeah, why not? Oh, Zeus. Yeah. Zeus. Well, sweet. We got a lot to look forward to. What's, is there a timeline for any of these things, Jay? You, you, I've heard promising um, no. timelines is a really good decision. No, no, there is no timeline. Um, Brickleberry video is currently under development. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just coming out. There will be um, updates for the v Brickleberry video out on my Patreon, though. So that's... I, I never plug that, so... Yeah, you can pay me to Whoa. see it to see it unfinished early if if you want. You know, Alrighty. more of a donation platform than it. Ringy, what about you? Uh, just working on stuff. <laughs> That's all I got for you. I'm pretty much the same. Yeah. 
but of course they will Useless see us information, once again always. possibly wednesday uh yeah well that's that folks um i was about to say you know sorry for the short stream but i really shouldn't say that because it's not even close to true We're nearly at <laughs> three hours ridiculous but uh that's like an average stream yeah so you know it's nice to have a little bit of a, a quick fap compared to longer fab. It's not quick on its own. It's just quick comparatively, okay? Um, like that's I said... Long. That's just a normal stream for me on a Monday, you noobs. I am hopping over to a different May. stream. If you have a vague interest in things that are very much not movies and are divisive uh, in every way you could possibly imagine, you can join me over there. Uh, it's Adam and Sitch's channel. I don't exactly know what I'm in for, or how long I'll be able to stay there, but that's uh, partly why the, the episode is, is a short boy today. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, for joining us. Hope you had fun. Like I said, uh, Super Chats will be dealt with soon enough, um, possibly Wednesday, if not another day. Thank you very much for all the kind donations. I hope you have a good night, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, boy.